Hi everyone, my name is Monique. And I'm Naveen from Before You Play. And today we are super excited because we have a special playthrough for you all today. This time it is for Vitalis Serda's newest game that is coming to Kickstarter called Weather Machine. Uh, this one is again published by Eagle Griffin Games. Uh, most of his games are published by them. It is artwork done by Ian O'Toole. And so they basically brought the whole team back together. Mm -hmm. And here is the newest one, Weather Machine. Yes. Now, if you've been following along with our channel, we did the Lacerda series mm -hmm. um, last year, I believe. Yep. Since then, I would consider this uh, Vital Lacerda's next big box release, yeah. right? The last one was on Mars. And since then, they've had Mercado de Lisboa as well as the expansion to On Mars. But this is the next in the true big box, heavy weight uh, series of games yes. by Vital. The crunchy, crunchy Euro one. Mm -hmm. And it, as per usual, there is a very specific theme to this one. In this game, we are building or we're trying to improve upon a weather machine that has been built yes. in the past by the professor Latif himself. Uh -huh. And uh, we're just trying to improve upon it because the first time they built it, it caused disastrous effects around the world. It had good intentions, but it was causing problems. So now we are coming together not cooperatively, but kind of cooperatively, <laughs> to try to build upon Professor Latif's previous work, also utilizing the government, yes. and we're all kind of in cahoots. Right. And so as per usual, we are going to start with the teacher of the game and then go into our full two-player playthrough as well as a full review. A few things about that. We know that this is kind of a longer game and our teachers in the past have been quite involved, so we are going to include timestamps down below. Please feel free to use them liberally and jump to the sections that most interest you. If you are not uh, quite interested in sitting through a longer teach, then just feel free to jump straight to the playthrough because we're going to be talking through all of our moves. Mm -hmm. In addition, on our Instagram, we asked for questions for us to include in a review. And so we've gone through every single one of them and we're going to make sure to, to hit upon all of those questions as much as we can, as much as we can mm -hmm. when we get to the review section. Now, this game is going to be launching on Kickstarter on November 11th. So if mm -hmm. you are interested in anything that you see here, feel free to look at the link down in the description below. We will be sure to add that as soon as we have that link. Also, we do want to make a mention that this is a prototype copy of the game. It's a very, very high quality prototype, but things may be subject to change in the future. And last but not least, if you do like these kind of videos, please consider subscribing. And without further ado, we are ready to get started. So if you please direct your attention to the center of the table, we're all set up here for a two player game of Weather Machine. Kind, kind of. of. <laughs> kind of set up, yes. And so what do we have here? This is the board. It is it is beautiful. It's it quite is. illustrated. Mm -hmm. uh, we each also have our own player boards and just kind of give you the lay of the land. Earlier, we discussed that Professor Latif has already built a previous iteration of this weather machine. And that's it right here mm -hmm. in the center. But in addition to this weather machine, we also have a couple of other locations. We have the government location over here where the government's going to be helping us with subsidies as well as the uh, research and development area where we're going to be testing out some new fixes for our new prototype of the weather machine. In addition to these three different locations, we have a fourth location down here, which is just the supply area for us to gain more resources. And that's essentially it. Mm -hmm. The board is just divided into those four main locations where players are gonna be traveling around to to do various actions. And so like we were mentioning earlier, in this game, we as scientists are going to be helping Professor Latif improve upon his weather machine so that we can use it for good and not have these terrible terrible extreme weather side effects, right? I'm trying to do like Weather Machine 2.0. And so the game is played over several rounds and once one of four end game triggers has been met, then we finish the round, play one last round as per usual uh, Lacerda fashion, and then we go into final scoring. And whoever has the most climate points at the end of the game wins. And so each round, players are going to be essentially taking their scientists and moving to a different location to perform actions at that location. Mm -hmm. And so the basic concept here is as scientists, we are trying to gain information in the form of these research tokens. And so in the game, there are five different types of weather. There's rain, uh, wind. wind, sun, fog, and snow. Yes. And we're trying to collect research tokens from each of these three locations to place in a row on our player board so that we can publish a paper about that specific weather type. Each round, we're also going to be running this weather machine. And this happens every single round. So this is another section that you just kind of want to keep an eye on. But the first thing that happens is after setup, we're going to have what's called a supply round, where players are going to be able to take as many actions as they want in the supply location of the board down here. Now, before we talk about the supply location, I want to first mention the concept of vouchers, mm -hmm. because this is a really, really important part of the game. And so in the middle of your board here, we have where we keep track of our vouchers. And vouchers are what you need in order to take actions in these different locations. There are five different types, four of which pertain to the four different locations on the board, mm -hmm. and the fifth of which is our, our science vouchers, which are considered wild. You can spend them in place of any of the other four. And so for this initial supply round, the way that the supply location works in general is players can take as many actions as they want um, in this location, but every time you take an action, you have to spend specifically supply vouchers. And at the supply location, you're essentially just going to be taking resources. And so in this game, in addition to the vouchers, the other resources you're going to be managing are going to be 
chemicals, which are these cylindrical uh, units here. You're going to be managing machine parts, which are off the board, as well as these robots that you'll have to build throughout the game. Robots are the other part of the game that is really extremely, extremely important. It's for its own you economy to, as well. Yeah, for you to have and spend. The right side of your player board can hold one of each type. The very topmost part here, it can hold one chemical token. Of any color. Of any color. The middle part can hold a machine part, and the very bottom can hold a robot. At the start of the game, players will also start with one workshop tile each, which is going to go on the side of your board like, like this. And each workshop tile can hold either a machine part or a robot, just like that. And so during the supply round, you can spend one supply voucher to increase your workshop tiles on your board. And they must go on the right side of your player board, just like this. It can either go um, above or below a pre-existing workshop tile, or it can go to the side of your board to kind of further extend out horizontally. But the two main rules are that the colors must match in these semicircles. The colors have to go up and down mm -hmm. and they have to match just like this. And you cannot build any taller than three tiles high. And the reason why the circles have to match is because uh, for each of these that you complete just like this, it can now hold an additional chemical token of that specific color. Mm -hmm. So if I were to play with my board state just like this, I would be able to hold one green chemical token right there and then one chemical token of any color for that spot. Yep. The next thing you can do over here is you can buy and sell more of these chemical tokens. Anytime you buy them, you're going to take chemical tokens from the left side. Anytime you sell them back, you sell them back to any available spots uh, closest to the right side mm -hmm. of this area. And the reason for that is because it dictates how much you get in vouchers when you sell them back and how much you have to pay in supply vouchers when you buy them. So at the start of the game, you're going to be plucking the chemical token from the left side of this area, which only costs one supply voucher each. But say as the game progresses, these might get depleted and then they're going to be a lot more expensive. They're going to cost three supply vouchers for one, etc. This supply location is also where you're going to be changing turn order. This is the only place that you can do that. Mm -hmm. In order for you to do this, you spend one supply voucher and then you basically just take your initiative token and you put it where you want it to go, sliding everybody else over. When taking this action throughout the game, it's important to note though that the actual turn order does not change until the end of the round. And the last thing that you can do, which is a super important action, is you can build robots. Mm -hmm. And robots are going to be on this side of your board, on the left side. There are four different areas. I think this is called your assembly line. And so at the start of the game, you can only build robots from the top two sections of your board. And each section dictates how many supply vouchers you have to spend in order to build a robot from that area. But basically, when you build a robot, so say I build um, this one, it's going to cost me one supply voucher. And then I immediately get the benefit that's listed uh, to the side of the robot, which in this case is one voucher of the laboratory type. Mm -hmm. And then the robot must fit in one of the uh, areas that we discussed in your workshop. The benefits that you get from these two top sections, you'll also gain during income, which we'll talk about later. And once all players are finished with this initial supply round, then the game actually starts. And so on your turn, you're basically going to take your scientist and you're going to move to a different location each round and perform the actions that you want to perform there. Whenever you move to a location, you're going to gain additional vouchers of the next location type. Mm -hmm. And so if I were to move to the government area over here, then I would gain a voucher in the laboratory type, which is this symbol. And the same is true for the other two locations. You also gain additional vouchers if there are opponents to the left of you when you go there. So if Naveen were already on this spot and I were to go to this location, then I would gain an additional voucher of this type, as well as if Latif is in the location um, that you went to. And so this is probably a bad example. If you were to have looked like this and I went to this location, I would gain one voucher of the laboratory type. I would gain a second one because Naveen is to my left. And because Latif is also to my left, I would gain a science voucher, which is the, the wild type of voucher that we were talking about. The one exception is the supply location. If I were to go back there at some point, then going there gains me a voucher of my choice. And for each opponent that is to the left of me, I have to pay a voucher of my choice. Yeah. So this is the one exception to, to that kind of rule. And so each of these three locations has two different types of actions that you can take there. The number of actions I can take is dependent on which action spot I go to. So if I were to go to one of these two uh, main action spots, the black ones, then it allows me to take one or the other. If I go to the red action spot, which is not available in the first round, by mm -hmm. the way, that allows me to take both actions. So it's a two for one. Now let's talk about the different locations and the different actions you can perform there so that you have an idea 
idea as to what to expect. What we're doing. Now, as I mentioned earlier, the main focus, especially in the beginning of the game, is you want to collect these research tokens. And you want to collect them for the same type of weather because you're going to be matching them in, into your office in order to publish papers, which will score you more points, and it'll kind of have this like snowball effect. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you want to get more knowledge about a specific type versus just knowing a little bit of everything else. Right. And so starting with the government location, this area here is where the government is going to help us in doing our research by providing subsidies. And subsidies are these tiles that you see here. These are going to help us perform additional actions later on in the game or do things cheaper. And so the basic action, which is what, what I consider the basic actions of each of these locations here, um, allows us to take a subsidy tile from here. And so the same concept applies for each of the three uh, basic actions in these locations. And this concept is that you must have a robot in order to take these basic actions. Taking the basic action allows you to go up on the corresponding uh, funding track. And so as you can see, each location has their own corresponding funding track, which we'll talk about later. And so if I were to take this action in the government location, which is technically called selling a part, then I would first choose one of the subsidy tiles that I want to take. And these subsidy tiles are going to be great because they do things like allowing you to build a robot for free, going up twice on, on two vouchers, taking an action without having to spend a resource to do it. So say, for example, I want to take this subsidy tile because it gains me a robot. I would have to first put my robot on one of the three areas um, at the bottom of its column. Mm -hmm. And so say I were to put my robot here, then I would have to pay the machine part of whatever color I place my robot on. In this example, it's a red machine part, which I happen to have because I started the game with it. And I would replace that subsidy tile with my machine part. Now these subsidy tiles go to the left side of your board here. And then starting with the next round, before I move my scientist to a new location, I can flip this subsidy tile over and take its its uh, its benefit, mm -hmm. essentially. But that is a one-time use tile. Once it is flipped to its orange side, um, when it's next to your player board, then it's done. That's how you designated you used it. Exactly. And then I end my turn by taking the corresponding research token. And so that is how you gain these research tokens. You gotta take the basic action. And research tokens, when you acquire them, always go at the top of your board here. Here. Once you finally end your turn, then you place your research token out and you place these in any of the available corresponding spots. So any, essentially any of the spots that are blue. Two of these spots have uh, benefits that you gain immediately. So I'll go ahead and place that there for two supply vouchers. And that ends my turn. Perfect. Also, uh, when you take the actions that are on the left hand side of each different location, you also get a one bump ah, yes. on the designated track that corresponds. So right. uh, this bump Monique would get because she took this particular action. The other action at this location costs you two vouchers. And so that holds true. The uh, second type of action is always going to cost you two vouchers of that uh, designated type. And so this allows you to secure a subsidy. And so basically what it means is you get to gain the benefit of a subsidy that is still on its blue side. Um, based up here on the board without taking it into hand, just like mm -hmm. I did here. Yep. And so say I want to I want to make a robot right now. I would choose this subsidy, flip it over to its orange side, gain the benefit, which is building a robot. And then in addition, you gain two additional vouchers for doing so. And they are the ones at the top and to the side of whatever wherever the subsidy is that the, you flipped over. Yeah, the intersection point, you just look outward from there and those are what you get. Exactly. So in this example, I would get a science voucher as well as a lab voucher immediately on my board, just like that. Now, I do want to mention that uh, once these are flipped over on the board, uh, anybody else who were to take this action cannot... Um, get the benefits of an orange tile, but you can still acquire the tile by, by doing the first action. So that is how you can make really get the best use out of these subsidy tiles because they are so they're so advantageous. And so going back to the action that allows you to sell a part, if at any time any of the uh, columns are completely filled with robots, like, like in this, this example like this, mm -hmm. then that branch of the government prototype has been completed and each player is going to get uh, three points per robot that you have there. So Naveen would get six points, I would get three points. In addition, the government is going to help us with our efforts in, in combating these extreme weather tiles. So they would place one of their weather tokens in the corresponding uh, extreme weather tiles. So it would be snow just like that. And the reason for that will become more clear later on. Mm -hmm. And if at any time all five branches of the government location are completely filled with robots, that is one of the ways in which the game can end. Mm -hmm. So that's one of four um, end game triggers. 
Now, the next location is Latif's lab. Again, this is home of the uh, the old, the previous weather machine that needs fixing. Yep. And so the way that this location works is every single round, we're going to be checking the machine to see if the weather machine runs. Mm -hmm. And the way that that happens is if at the end of the round, we have an experiment tile up here with a weather condition that matches the same weather type where Latif's assistant is, which in this case is fog. And as long as the entire uh, branch is full, is filled with robots. Mm -hmm. So it could be something like this. Exactly. However, if it were to look like this at the end of the round, the machine would not run, <laughs> would not run. because there is no experiment tile that matches uh, fog. But at the end of next round, if it looked like this, so say maybe it looked like that, and we have a, a help from a <laughs> Latif's robot here, then this would run because the entire branch is full and we have an experiment tile that matches that weather type. And so going to this location gives us the ability to put robots in the machine mm -hmm. so that we can be there for when the machine is going to run. And so that is this action here, which is called working on an experiment. It costs you one lab voucher. And the first thing that happens is you go up on the lab funding track, mm -hmm. and then you get to place a robot out onto any of the branches of, of the machine. The only thing is you have to pay a chemical token that matches the color of the spot that you're going to. Exactly. So if I were to place my robot on this spot, I would have to pay a green chemical token. I would pay it back into the supply because chemical tokens are a, sort of a closed system, and that's it. You don't gain anything else. You do not gain this token. These tokens are only earned if the machine is successfully run. That's right. I do want to mention, though, that Latif's assistant also has their own bots that's going to be helping us uh, run this machine. And the way that that works is every time you go to a location where Latif is, so if Latif were here and Naveen were to, on his turn, go to this location, Latif actually moves from location to location, always going from one to two, three, four, and finally location number five. Every time Latif moves to a new location, one of his assistant's robots gets placed into the branch where the assistant is. Mm -hmm. And these robots just help us complete the branch so that we can run the machine. They help us fill out those columns. And while we're on the topic of Latif, if at the end of the round Latif is here in location number five, then we collect income. Mm -hmm. And like I kind of alluded to earlier, income is just in the form of whatever you have opened up in the top section of your robot it's area. Here. Yep. Yes. And we'll talk about that more as we play the game. Now, I want to briefly just discuss the basic action for the third location before we talk about these last two actions, mm -hmm. because these two actions are quite advanced. Um, you're probably not going to be taking them until at least the, the last two thirds of the game. Uh, yeah, they're, they're mid game actions for they're sure. They're mid game actions. So it yeah. kind of doesn't make sense to talk about them right now. Right. So this location is R&D, Research and Development. This is where we are trying to physically combat those uh, deleterious weather, extreme weather effects the of the stuff. weather machine. The basic action is called research. Taking this costs one R&D voucher. And uh, of course, it allows me to move up on that track. Can't forget that. Yep. But essentially what this allows you to do is it allows you to place a robot I'm just going to use this as an example, out into one of these five different locations. In order for you to do that, you have to pay a chemical token. And uh, this is the one exception to that closed economy rule. Yep. So say I were to place my robot here, I would have to pay a green chemical token. And so paying them requires you to place it here onto the board. And that chemical token will stay there for the rest of the game. It is locked in. And you also get the benefit of whatever is listed on the spot itself, which in this example is a machine part. The bottom rows of each of the five branches gets you a robot immediately, but you have to pay an extra something. And so in this example, you have to pay an extra chemical token. Uh, these ones are machine parts. Once you've done all your paying and gained all your benefits, then you take the corresponding research token. So very similar to the government location, you can immediately take a research token for doing this. So in this example, I probably would have wanted to go to one of the snow areas so that I could uh, take the snow research token to help complete my, my row of snow research. It's big. You really want to complete uh, rows. You don't want to just have like haphazard, like one, one, ones kind of right. place all over your office. And so after everybody has taken their turn, then we go into the next phase of the round, which is checking if the machine runs. If it doesn't run, then all that happens is Latif's assistant moves uh, clockwise or moves over, I guess, to the next uh, weather type. Like a conveyor belt. Like a conveyor belt. Mm -hmm. If there was a corresponding um, experiment tile over here for that weather type, then it actually gets kicked out. Yes and we rotate them. And the reason for this is because this is another way in which the game could end. So another one of those uh, game timers. If we have to place the last one mm -hmm. on there, then that's going to trigger the end of the game. But if the machine does run, like in our previous example over here, the first thing that happens is all players get their robots back. 
And then we look at the actual experiment tile. Experiment tiles will give players points. And in order for you to gain points from your robots, you have to pay a certain amount of science vouchers that's listed on the tile. Mm -hmm. And you gain, in this example, five points per robot that was there. Mm -hmm. And then in turn order, you gain the benefit listed on the tile itself, which in this example is either two machine parts or an investment tile, which we'll talk about later. Players also, in turn order, gain a research token, and that is the only way that you can get these, by completing, by being in the machine mm -hmm. when the machine runs. Yep. So that would be a very happy day for me, because then I would be able to complete my row <laughs> of, uh, of snow research. After that, we add a new level of extreme weather to this area here, and that doesn't make a whole lot of sense right now, but we'll kind of talk about that as we play the game. Yeah. And then Latif's assistant moves to the next weather location, and you begin the next round. Um, let's go back to this location here for the advanced action, which is publishing a paper. So you can only take this action if you have a completed row, mm -hmm. and so that is why it is a little bit more of a later game action. So if I were to take this action, it would cost me two vouchers, right? Because it's the more advanced side. Mm -hmm. Then basically, I get to score points for this completed row of research tokens I have here, all for the same weather type. I would first slide my weather token over to the right. And so if you can't see it on the player board, there are these tiny benefits that you get for doing so. In this example, I get to uh, build a robot immediately. And then I score points for the tokens that I have in that office row. Um, each research token that you have in this spot is two points each. Mm -hmm. And so in this example, I would score six points. And in addition, if it is the first time that we're publishing a paper on a specific weather type, then I can unlock that weather type over here by spending one science voucher. And in doing so, it would gain me three points. Now, I do want to note that this becomes unlocked whether or not you spend a science voucher. Right. It's just that this is the only time that you can score points for doing so. Now that this is unlocked, in the future, if, say, um, me or Naveen were to only have two snow research tokens, because there might be a point in the game where it's impossible to get the third type of research, you can cite a previously published paper as long as it's been unlocked. You would take one of these uh, black citation tokens and then you would score your row uh, taking this action, but you would just not get any points for that uh, citation token. And then you finish your action by taking one of those uh, investment tiles, which look like this. And I kind of alluded to this earlier when uh, you run the weather machine, so this is probably a good time to talk about it. Sure. Investment tiles go to the left side of your board, just like the subsidy tiles do. But what they allow you to do is at the start of my turn, instead of flipping over one subsidy tile to, to get its benefit, I can can discard an investment tile back into the supply to take one of these goals that I referred to and place it onto your board. And so the basic concept of these goals is everybody's going to start the game with nine possible um, end game goals mm -hmm. that you can try to achieve, yep. but you have to put them into play before they actually count. Right. So if you don't put any of these on your on the board, then you're not scoring for them at all. And so once I spend an investment tile to get uh, one of these goals onto my player board. In the future, if I have another investment tile, because you're gonna be collecting several of these, yep. I can discard this to, instead of placing a new goal tile onto my board, I can flip over one that's pre-existing in order to gain funding from that corresponding funding track. And so this is something that we alluded to earlier, but we didn't really discuss. Mm -hmm. When I gain funding from this track, I gain all of the benefits that are underneath my token and downwards. So I gain all three of these things. If I were to secure funding from the purple track over here, mm -hmm. then I would have to choose one benefit from wherever I am and below. So in this example, I would have to choose between these three, which one benefit I want to take. Yep. When I get funding from here, I essentially get to take all of the, uh, the science vouchers that are listed from below my token to the left. So you get two sides there. Exactly. As well as gaining funding from one of the other two tracks as if I were a number of spaces ahead as whatever that number is down there. There's a little modifier underneath there. Yes. And so in this example, if I were to gain funding from here, I would gain two science vouchers. And then I would say, I'm going to choose this track for the second track of funding. There's a plus two underneath my token. So then I would be able to choose from here on down instead of from here. Yep. And that is how these investment tiles work. They're very, very useful when you use them at the right time. And finally, the last type of action is this advanced action over here, which mm -hmm. is having a breakthrough. You had an epiphany, right? The light bulb went off. Exactly. And so in order for you to take this action, um, a couple of things have to be true. Yes. You have to have completed a row. And that row has to have already been published, right. which means you have to have this and you have to have taken this action in order for you to take that one. And that's why that is an even later game action. Now, just so we have an example, I'm just going to kind of seed the board here 
um, with some stuff. And so again, taking this action costs you two R&D vouchers. But this, what this essentially lets you do is it lets you take information from the paper that you published and put it into practice. Yes. And so what I would do here is I would take this available um, weather token and I would place it on an available spot on the extreme weather tile of the corresponding weather. So over here, I have a whole row of snow research tokens. So I'm going to go ahead and place it in one of these available spots. So I can get either two points or I can go up in one of the funding tracks of my choice. I'm gonna go for two points, just like that. But in order to actually score this, I have to pay. I have to pay machine parts, depending on the machine parts that are listed in that column. And so in this example, we have here a blue and two red machine parts that I need to pay. For every robot that is already in this column, no matter who it belongs to, they can provide uh, machine parts for you. So if I were to have taken this action and I actually don't have this blue part in my workshop, I could turn in this red machine part for the one that I have here that doesn't have a robot on it. Yep. And I can use my own robot as well as Naveen's robot to supply the other parts. For every machine part that you yourself contribute, you get two points. And for each robot that uh, you have there, you also get two points. Mm -hmm. But because Naveen contributed a machine part for me, he gets two points. So there's a little bit of a semi-co-op uh, thing going on with this action space. If I don't want Naveen to get points for this, and I did have this blue token here, then I can actually contribute uh, both of these machine parts. The, the rule to this is all of the machine parts that you're contributing must be in the same row of your workshop. And so uh, this also means that if I had, say, a green machine part here, I would have to spend the entire row, you no matter, it. yeah, you would lose that machine part. So you got to plan your workshop properly before you take this action. And so your reward for, for, uh, for taking this action and turning in all these parts and all that jazz is you get an actual award. You <laughs> yes. earned an award for this, this paper that you published, for you the do. research that you're contributing to society, right? And these award tokens go at the top of your board. At any time during your turn, you can place the award token in one of the rows. So say I only had uh, two of the three types of research tokens that I needed to complete a row. Instead of uh, filling in the third one with a with the actual government token, I can put an award token there and go back to this spot to publish a paper with just my row looking like this. Yeah, it essentially acts as a spacer, but it's even more valuable when you take the actions that get you points. Right, because you are now an esteemed scientist, they trust you a little bit more. And these award tokens are uh, quite lucrative. They give you four points when you go to take this action instead of the two points that just regular research tokens gets you. If ever you earn your third award, which is difficult to do, then you gain the high highly coveted Nobel Prize. There it is. There it is. This is worth five <laughs> points to whoever gets it at the end of the game. And it's also another way that the game can end. It's one of the game triggers. It is one of the game triggers. So you want to try to get that. And really quickly, as we play the game, this is not going to be um, as simple or as easy as the example that we just uh, showed you. Yeah. Whenever the machine runs, I kind of referred to it earlier that you kind of put a new, uh, a new level of extreme weather on top of the pre-existing tile. And the reason for that is because these are going to be more expensive for you when you go to take this action. Mm -hmm. And we'll kind of walk you through this as we play the game. Now, speaking of end game triggers, the four ways in which the game can end, as we discussed earlier, are gaining the Nobel Prize, uh, putting the last experiment tile in this area over here, completely filling all five branches of the government area, and completely filling all of the branches in R&D, which is probably not going to happen in a two-player game. No. Once any of those conditions have been met, then you finish the round, you play one final round, and then you go into endgame scoring, which is very simple. You essentially just get the points for wherever you are on each of these three tracks. Each of your end game goal tiles that you have placed on your board. And so these are going to be stuff like um, having the most robots in a certain location or, or being um, the furthest on one of those uh, tracks. Exactly. And it only has to be true at the end of the game. Right. Even the ones that are flipped over will still score you points. And they're only five points each. Mm -hmm. So it's not like the other game, other Lucerta games where you can kind of like scale in, in how many points you get. They're just five points each. Yep. And finally, whoever has the Nobel Prize gains five points as well. And whoever has the most climate points at that point is the winner. I know we didn't, we probably didn't go through every single little detail, but we will walk you through it as we play. We are also going to be doing the two player uh, variant. And so two player works a little bit differently, but we'll discuss that at the beginning of our playthrough. So we're just gonna go ahead and get cleaned up and get yep. started. So Okay, so we are all reset. Uh, we are set up for a two-player game. There are some changes to the board, which we'll talk about. And we have determined that I am first player, 
because there was a draft ahead of time. We'll talk yes. about that. We had to. We decided to draft our uh, our end goal tiles. You mm -hmm. don't have to do this. It comes. The game comes with four different sets of them, and you can just choose to take a whole set. But uh, for a more strategic game, we decided to draft ours. In addition, uh, the the two player setup changes are now we have a third neutral player token in uh, one of each location spot, which means we only have two uh, open spots for us to go to. And in the first round, it's really only one because the red spots are still unavailable. Right. In addition, we start the game with all five of uh, Latif's assistance bots in the machine, just to kind of help us a little bit more. Mm -hmm. But for the rest of the game, they all play uh, the same as in higher player counts. And also we want to mention that um, we've cut off a little bit of the scoreboard. Yes, and so hopefully you can see more of the action <laughs> as the game goes on. And so, the last thing before we get started with our first supply round is we didn't mention this in the teach, but we do have these things called executive exchanges. There are technically no executive actions, mm. but executive exchanges are something that's available to us in case we are unable to pay um, a specific voucher or a specific colored machine part or chemical. And so if you ever have to pay one of those things and you can't, you can spend two different vouchers to exchange either a machine part or a chemical for a different color. Or you can also exchange uh, three vouchers for a science voucher, which then becomes comes a wild that you can now spend for a different kind. Mm -hmm. So um, we will likely use that in the game. Yes. Yes. <laughs> likely. Yes. All right. So Naveen is going first, and we are going to uh, kick off the game with that post setup supply round. Yes. So Naveen, we each have four uh, supply vouchers to start the game. Would you care to take your actions? Okay. Yes. Yeah. So like I said, uh, we have four here. Um, these are my different options here. Uh, I'm not going to adjust turn order because I'm already going first. Yes. So I think I want to go ahead and get one of these workshop tiles. Oh, okay. Right yes. off the bat. Right off the bat. Yeah. And I I can only take really a peach or pinkish one and a reddish one. And so I think I'm going to take this one here and connect my red to red. Okay. And that is going to cost me one action point. Uh, that is indicated right over here. Yeah, one supply voucher. Yep. And this immediately gets placed here. So if I wanted to take another one, I could. Yep. Uh, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to spend a voucher to take one of these chemical tokens. And I'm going to take that red that gets housed right here. Nice. So You're I starting the game and I did something. with a chemical. All right. So you have two supply vouchers left. What are you going to uh, spend them on? All right. I definitely want to get a robot because... Uh, we need a robot. Yes, yeah. extremely important. No robots to start. So I'm going to spend one supply voucher to take this robot here. Yep. And this is going to get me an immediate bump on the government track. So I'm yes. going to move up one on the government track. So all the robots in this section cost one supply voucher, and the ones in this section cost two. And these two are unavailable to us yes. to start the game. Yes, I am going to... So I'm going to do this one. I'm going to spend a supply voucher okay. and a science voucher. Okay. So that's going to represent two to take this robot off here here, okay. uh, which is going to then get me a science voucher right back. Nice. And so then let's go ahead and just place this out there. All right. And so now in income, I would get uh, one of these government vouchers as well as a science voucher if Latif gets back to space five, yeah, which will be a while. That's going to be a little bit tough. So the other thing about a two-player game, which we didn't discuss, is every time Latif moves to location two and four, he removes a research token from that location, depending on where the assistant is in the weather machine. Mm -hmm. And so in a two-player game, oh, I don't really like Latif removing research tokens. So it's not going to be as fruitful for us to keep going to his location, I guess, yep. if that makes sense. Yep. All right. So now it is to me, mm -hmm. and I can do the same. Ooh, where are you going to go? So this is my, my decision here is, do I want to take first? Because if we... If I spend a supply voucher to change turn order, that's actually going to um, be reflected now. I don't have to mm -hmm. wait until the end of the round. All right, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to grab a workshop tile. Sure. So that's one supply voucher. And I'm going to take this one, seeing as it's the only one that'll let me form a green yeah. chemical right there. Next, next one comes in. Um, and speaking of green chemicals, I'm going to spend another supply voucher to take a green chemical and place it right there. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to start building some robots because I think I need a couple of them, you <laughs> definitely. Need you need materials. You need stuff to do. I need some stuff. Yeah. I'm going to build this one also, just like Naveen did. So it costs me uh, two supply vouchers. It's going to gain me a science voucher. Yep. And so I'm just going to hold my robot right there. Uh, actually, you know, maybe I'll spend one science voucher on another chemical. So let's do that. And then um, I'm going to spend one more science voucher on... This robot, it only cost me one supply voucher, and so that's why I use just one. Mm -hmm. And it's gonna let me go up on the government vouchers. So that's it. I am ready. I have not changed initiative order, which means Naveen is gonna truly go first. Mm -hmm. 
Um, we have a similar looking uh, setup here. Do we? Yeah. Two robots, same robots all. I have two chemical tokens. Yeah, you spent one extra science. I, I didn't spend <laughs> extra science. Well, we'll see how it goes. It's pretty good. Are you ready? Yeah, I should have spent an extra science. Okay. First so. round. Go for it. So turn order stays the same. Uh, I am going to go ahead and move over to the government section here. And I must go in the middle section in the first round. Yes. And uh, my two choices are either this action or this action. But... First thing that happens? Yeah, the first thing I get is one of these, a bump up on uh, this particular voucher track. So the lab voucher. The lab voucher. Yeah. The little flask. To make sure that we do our vouchers <laughs> first. Yes. And what I'm going to do is I am going to take this first action here on the left. So okay. it's going to cost me one of my uh, government vouchers mm -hmm. to, to perform this action. Immediately, I move up one on this track. Nice. And then what I have to do next is I have to place out a robot on a space that has a matching cog wheel. So only on this, this, or this space. Uh, I like this particular row. Okay. So I'm column. going to call them. <laughs> Columns and rows for some reason has always hard. been a weird, like, yeah. Like big, horizontal big. vertical? That's not the problem. It's the <laughs> columns and rows specifically. But yes, columns, this column right here. Okay. Uh, I'm going to place my robot on that blue cog wheel. This is my contribution. And I'm going to take this robot creator nice so okay. now you've got a, a subsidy tile that'll allow you to starting with the next round you can do that before your actual action and you build can, a robot uh, build a robot exactly very good and don't forget the probably the most important part of this action yes right. yeah you got a snow research token i do and so i'm going to place it here because only two spaces in each column have a bonus well technically when you take a research token it goes there oh yeah and yeah, then yeah. once you end your turn you put it out onto your player board. And that actually does matter sometimes. It does matter. Because sometimes you'll, you'll use a subsidy tile that'll get your research token, and then you'll try to get another one during that right, action, and right. you can't. So, so I'm done with my turn. So yeah. then, yes, now I will place it out on one of these uh, spaces. I'm going to place it on this particular one, because what it does is it gets me a, a double bump on the supply nice. uh, voucher. And That's I believe good. that is the end of my turn. And there are only two spots per column that give you benefits. So when you're you're thinking about where to put it, you're taking into consideration the benefits as well as the row benefit when you go to publish a paper. So just keeping that in mind. That's a thing, yeah. Yeah. All right, you're done? That's it. So I cannot go there, mm -hmm. which is unfortunate. That's my favorite uh, opening move. Mm -hmm. So instead, um, I'm looking at this weather machine, and the weather machine is going to attempt to run for fog, which is actually not going to happen because there's no experiment tile that represents fog up here, which means we're looking ahead at snow, which is why Naveen probably took that. So um, I'm going to go to R&D. Mm. So I go right there. It's going to gain me a government voucher. So now I have three. And I'm going to take this action clearly because this one's too advanced for me right now, right. which is called research. And so the first thing is I have to spend one R&D voucher. My last one, I get a bump up on the R&D funding track. And then I can place my robot out into one of these five, uh, five branches. And I think because we're targeting snow right now, I'm going to go here because I also want another, another robot. So I'm going to go ahead and place my robot here. This is going to require me to spend my red chemical token, which is going to stay here for the rest of the game. And in addition, I have to spend uh, one, just one other chemical token that goes mm, back mm. to the supply. So I spent oh, my, my green, which, ooh, I don't know if that was ideal, but we did yeah. it. And in return, I gain, I get to build a robot immediately without having to spend the vouchers. So I'm going to build this one. And this is going to allow me to take a machine part from the supply, which is super important. Uh, so can I have a red machine part, please? Thank you. This this is the one resource that you can't actually get from the supply location, uh, which I actually yeah you have to earn thought them. that you could buy those yeah, you <laughs> at one do. point. You can't. Yeah. So you got to earn them. And then I can take a snow research token for R and D, which ooh, where am I going to place it? You know, I'm going to go ahead and place it right here as well. It doesn't get me an immediate benefit, but if I complete that row, I can build another robot. That's nice. <laughs> it's a good opening uh, row there. Sure. And that's it. That is the end of my action. So now we're going to check. Uh, we're going to go into phase B, technically, where we are going to check if the, the weather machine runs. It does not because there is no experiment tile and this column is not filled anyway. If there were an experiment tile, we would bump it out. But because there's none, we just uh, clear off this bot and we move on with our lives. The assistant moves to the next weather <clears throat> this way. And now for phase C, um, Latif is not in location five, where we would then take income and the initiative order has not changed. So that's it. We just move on to the next round, starting with Naveen. Okay, so starting with me, uh, I have to get out of this location. Yes. I'm not going to go back here, so I will be moving. <laughs> okay. 
And red locations are now available. Red locations are now available, yes. Uh, I don't think I want to go there just because I don't have the things needed to go there. Uh-huh. Uh, but I will go into this section here, which okay. is the lab, and we're going to be working. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get an R&D voucher, which is nice. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to be only taking this action because this is way later, uh, I'm thinking. So I'm going to spend one of my lab vouchers to perform mm -hmm. this action. I get to bump up on the track associated. Yep. And the next thing I'm going to do is spend my last robot. Yep. My last and final robot. I'm not going to take this action yet right here. I don't think I'm, I'm ready for this one. Using these subsidies, you have to do it at the beginning of a turn anyway. So, mm -hmm. I, But I knew I wasn't going to be using that. It's not like I forgot. Okay. 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 Yeah. <laughs> right. To clarify. <laughs> Just to clarify. <laughs> All right. I'm going to place it out into this location here, spending my one uh, red chemical. Yes. There it goes back to the supply. Furthest right is where it goes back. Nice. And to be clear, um, all the chemical tokens have names. We're not using their proper names because they're, they're stuff like... Red. <laughs> red. I don't even remember the names. Yeah, like red. germanium or something. I don't yeah, even know. Yeah, let's go with red. Okay. And that's that's essentially it, right? That is it for right now. Because again, unlike these two locations, you do not get this research token immediately. Um, at the end of this round, the weather machine is going to run potentially for snow if I get a robot in here. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and move to government now that Naveen has vacated. But I'm going to take this spot, actually, because I want to do both actions. So I'm going to go up on my lab voucher here, and I'm going to take both actions. Um, so it's going to cost me three government vouchers in total. But yeah. the first thing I want to do, I guess the order doesn't really matter. Yeah, it doesn't, it doesn't super matter. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to secure a subsidy by taking this action. So it costs me two government vouchers. And... Um, I'm going to choose one of these subsidy tiles to reap the benefits of. And I think since I want to get in here, mm -hmm. I'm going to flip over this tile. Yep. So this tile allows you to essentially take this action, which is what Naveen did, without having to spend the chemical token. Yep. I still have to place my robot out, but it, it saves me an action. You know, I, don't, I don't have to go there and I don't have to spend a chemical so token. So she flips it over to her orange side. Yes, I flip it over to, my, to the orange side. I'm going to just place my robot out into this spot right there. Uh, I don't have to spend the chemical token. And don't forget, you yes. get these two vouchers. I also get, to, oh, in that case, do I even want this one? Because That's I think the there's thing. a second one. There is a second one. I'm going to take this one yep. instead. Yep, yep, yep. Because instead of two um, lab vouchers, there's a lab as well as a science voucher, which is obviously better. So I'm going to do that. And I believe there's two of each type of tile. You can just kind of randomize where they start start off yeah yes that's correct then i'm going to sell apart which is this action so it's going to cost me my last government voucher i get to bump up on the government funding track please yep. doing a double action here yes that's and it. then i'm going to place i have two machine parts i have a red and a pink and i think i'm gonna go here because we are gonna get this snow research token so i'm gonna place my uh, robot right there and ooh, I can either go up twice on vouchers or I can take this, which lets me do an action here for essentially free. I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna take this. Do you have the robots? You need to get a robot in order to do it, okay. In order to? Oh, you to, would still to have there. to yeah, yes. put out a robot there. But we're gonna get our robots back a at the end of this round. Yeah. So I take the subsidy tile and I'm going to replace it with my red machine part because that is the spot that my robot took up. Cool. Just like that. And now I get a snow research tile of the government flavor. <laughs> Which is going to go right here, because I'm done with my, my turn. And that's going to get me um, two supply vouchers covering that spot. And that's it. That is the, the end of my action. Now, for the rest of the game, if anybody, or I guess whoever the last person is that goes there, uh, will now get just a an investment tile, which is pretty powerful. You know, we're going to want those. All right, are you ready to run this weather machine? Yes. First time we're going to be successfully sure. running it again. Uh, Latif's assistant is here in the snow weather. The column is completely filled and we have a snow experiment tile. Mm -hmm. So first thing that happens is we get to take back our robots. And so now we have this back uh, to send out okay. in the future. And then according to this experiment tile, we each have to spend one science voucher if we want to score points for yep, that robot. Definitely. So I'm going to go ahead and spend Down mine. Uh, we each get five points five because points. we had one robot each. Yep. And then starting with Naveen, would you like two machine parts or an investment tile? Uh, two machine parts. All right. Which colors would you like? That's important. Yes. Okay, I'm going to take a peach colored one and a red one. Nice. And I'll take a red and a blue. Red and blue? Yes, please. One red, one blue. Okay. Thank there you. you. Mm -hmm. All right. And so uh, now that we're done with that, we are going to go ahead and discard this. So this goes out of the game. Um, oh, actually, we also get our, our yeah, snow. The proper orders, tile. we get this yeah. followed by. Yeah. We get this, and this gets placed immediately. Placed right there. Just like that. 
Uh, this robot gets bumped off. We now place a new extreme weather tile for the weather of snow, which yep. is going to make this a level two. And the significance of this, because we didn't touch upon this uh, much in the teach, is when we go to take the breakthrough action, it makes it more expensive. Mm -hmm. That's essentially it. It's going to it's gonna make you have to spend science vouchers as well as additional uh, machine parts. So that one's a, a so, white one. It's kind of a little hard to see there. Yes, but. it's a white machine part in addition to these three that you'll have to spend. So that's that. Uh, we conveyor belt this conveyor belt them over and then the assistant now goes to rain Okay, so we know that this is the next experiment that's going to be trying to be run. Yes, and we do have a uh, a rain Experimentile so yeah. Naveen if you are interested in that we can make that happen. I am interested. So now it just goes back to you mm -hmm. I need a switch turn order at some point, but I hate going to supply <laughs> I feel like it's such a waste of a turn. Okay, I think this is the time to use my robot. So I will um, spend my subsidy tile to okay. flip this over, and this gets me a free robot. Uh, I still cannot take from here. I must uh, deplete this before we can move into this area here. Yes. If you wanted to start uh, building these robots, you have to have built at least six or have at least five uh, tokens, research tokens on your office. Mm -hmm. And it's even more expensive for this this uh, section. Yeah. So just so you know. And I think I'm gonna. I would rather take from this because it costs two supply actions versus one supply voucher. Um, not actions, vouchers. Right. And so I'm gonna take from this right column here, and I'm gonna take this one because legally. <laughs> So I'll, I'll kind of walk you through. I only have one spot here. Yep. This robot must go onto this spot. So if I was to take this one, my benefit would be to get a machine part, which I would not be able to house it. Yes. So I'm going to take. A waste. Yeah, it would be a complete waste. So I'm going to go ahead and take this one, moving myself up immediately. Uh, one supply uh, voucher. Nice. And now I get to take my my actual action. Where are you going to go? All right, I'm going to kind of chase you, and I'm going to go chasing me here. Oh, nice. Yeah, so because there is a player to my left, not only am I going to get the voucher bump here, but I'm also going to get an additional one for each player here. Yeah. Uh, so I'm going to get a double bump, so it's going to go... That's the downside of going two. to red locations. You give you open up opportunities for opponents to get additional vouchers. It, it happens. It yeah. happens, it, yeah. It's going to happen in the game. I, I mean, you had a really good turn. Thank so, you. <laughs> so uh, my choices are I can take either this action or this action. Yeah. You can secure a subsidy or mm -hmm. you're going to sell a part, Naveen. What do you want to do? Seeing as I need to make some room. Are you going to get in here? I might have to get in there. Yeah. Okay. And I will be taking the second action here. So I'm not going to get a bump on the track, but I do. It does cost me two of um, these vouchers here. So it's going to be <laughs> government, government vouchers. Government vouchers. <laughs> so I'm going to spend one. And then now I will do one of these executive actions. You can here. do a science voucher. The problem is if I spend science a science voucher, I'm going to need one science voucher to score it. So I'm thinking because I'm going to take this one, mm -hmm. I'm going to get these two back anyway. So mm -hmm. I should just spend one, two, and then it's maybe like an R&D. I know that was probably very confusing. So I spent <laughs> one of these and yeah. then I'm going to spend one, two, and then one supply, three, to represent the missing um, government voucher. Yes, because you had to spend two of them to take that action. Exactly. And all that's right. all listed here. Perfect. So now you are ready. Now I'm ready to actually take my action. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to look at this intersection here and here and basically take the one that Monique did earlier. But now I'm going to get these two uh, vouchers, which is the lab vouchers. One, two. I get to flip this over, which yep. is taking the action of freely putting a robot out here without spending the associated chemical. So that's going to flip over. And let's just go ahead and put this robot. You know what? Before you do this, mm -hmm. I just realized that I believe taking this action lets you take this entire action without putting out, without having to spend the chemical. So I'm supposed to get a bump up. Yes. In yes, the yes, yes. funding you are. for this for this year. Because I definitely would have. That's how we, we interpreted that. Yeah, I think you, you get to take the entire action from start to finish, and that's step one of the three-step process. Right. So uh, I'll go ahead and just place this here. Okay. Um, and then I also get my little bump. Yes, you do. Such a thing. Very yeah. good. All right, so uh, back to me. Yeah. I am going to start my turn by by uh, flipping over one of my my only subsidy tiles. Sure. So I'm going to flip this over. This allows me to take this action without having to spend a, a chemical token, which is great because I don't have one. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and I need one if I want to get in there. So I'm going to go ahead and flip this over. And uh, the first thing that happens is I get to go up on this funding track. And then I'm going to place my robot out, uh, seeing as we're going to attempt to to get the rain research token, I'm gonna go, it doesn't really matter between here and here. So you know what? I'm gonna go here. Let's just continue to make red more expensive or maybe that's bad, that might bite me later. Mm. Okay, I'm gonna go here. Okay. <laughs> I got scared. Sure. So I'm taking pink and I'm gonna place it there. I take it from the supply since it was free. And my reward 
is I get a, a chemical token of my choice. So I'm I assuming think green. it's going to be either green or white because you can move the that robot freely around. So I guess I will take green because that's what I can hold yes. in that spot. And then I get the research token, the rain research token. And this is going to go here because this is an example of why this matters. Because if I were to gain another research token on my turn, I can't actually hold it. So this gets placed at the end of, of my action. So now I'm going to actually take my action and I'm going to move over here to the lab and it's going to get me one R&D voucher. Um, and so because I went to this spot, I am going to take both of these actions, starting with publishing a paper because I do have a completed row of snow. So this is going to cost me two lab vouchers, one, two. And the first thing I do is I look at my office. Do I have a completed row? I do. So I'm going to go ahead and slide my weather token over. And uh, the benefit that I just uh, slid over is building an additional robot. So I'm going to go ahead and build my robot first, and that's going to be for free. I guess I might as well build this because it's, it's the, the most expensive. The one. most expensive. Yeah. It only gets me a supply voucher, though. That kind of stinks. But I guess it doesn't matter. I'm going to go ahead and build it, and I gain a supply voucher for doing so. And then the next thing is I'm going to unlock the, the citation for the snow weather type. So in the future, if we want to publish more snow, we can just cite this paper. So I spend my last science voucher, which is not a good thing. And this is going to go out the game. And I get three points for doing so. Out the Thank game. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, to be clear, that lock was going to leave the game no matter what. It's just that uh, this is my only opportunity to spend that science voucher for the three points. And then now I'm going to score my actual row. So because they're all research tokens, they're two points each. So it's an additional six points, please. Okay, it begins. And then I get an investment tile for, um, for my troubles. troubles. Yeah. <laughs> There's that. So that's this action. I'm going to take this action as well, since I, I am on that spot. And so, so you have to spend I have to one, spend of, one lab voucher. I'll bump I you on the track. Go up on funding. Thank you. And then I'm going to now place my last robot, my only robot, on what chemical did you I have get? The green, green? Yeah. on this spot. You want to get in there. Yeah. So I'm going to spend my green uh, chemical token. Cool. And hair's knocking things. Yeah, over. my hair's knocking things over. And now I believe that's it. So now that my turn is over, I'm going to place this. And I'm going to go here, just because I like that, that row benefit. Sure. That's that. Um, unfortunately, I'm not going to have a science voucher to, to take the benefit of this rain, which is pretty bad. You'll spend, you can spend three but, of another type. Yeah. All right. So let's go ahead and run this weather machine. We're going to run the weather machine for rain, because we have a rain experiment tile. This column is filled. So... Let's go ahead and take back our robots, okay, robot first of all. Back. We're going to go in this order this time. Yes. And then um, next thing is you can spend one science voucher. That's going to be for five points I'll per robot. One. All right. So I have to get creative here. I have to spend... A total of three to make up that one science three. voucher. Three. Because you have no science vouchers. Oh, my gosh. I'm going to be complete. I'm going to spend all of my supply vouchers. Okay. And me completely. I only have one voucher. So we both get five points. So you're going to go from 14 to 19, and I'm going to go from uh, five to 10. Yes. And then either two machine parts or an investment tile. I can't um, house these, so I'm going to take one of these. Me too. Yep. We cannot house our machine parts, so Not that's yet. that. Not yet. This goes out. Uh, we now also gain a rain research token. Ew. So I'm going to place this here, and it's going to get me two supply vouchers. Uh, I'm going to place it in the exact same spot, also getting two supply vouchers. Yeah, I'm in desperate need of these vouchers. Supplies. Now we put out a new level of extreme weather for rain, because that is, if that wasn't clear, for, uh, you know, with the theme, that is the bad, the deleterious effects of using this machine, using the old school weather machine. Yeah. It causes extreme weather somewhere else in the world. And so that's what this is all about. It's like a butterfly effect. It is okay. exactly that. Uh, next experiment tile that goes out is for fog, fog. So all the way over here. And there we go. And now the assistant is going to move. Yep. And this spot goes out. Out. Okay. So that's it. That's the end of the round. Latif did not move, but um, <laughs> I have a suspicion after my turn, they're going to move. You going so to supply? I'm going to supply. Wow. So I'm going to move myself right here. Ugh, and so we're going to take care of this. Um, so I get one bump up on any one of um, these tracks that I would like, as well as I get one science bump because Latif is here. Right. So let's go ahead and I'm going to take a science bump from Latif. And yep. then I'm going to take a... You can you can do another science. 
I could do another science. For this this wild Yeah, I might as well. Voucher. So I might as well. So I'll go ahead and do that. So since Naveen moved to Latif's location, Latif moves to the leftmost spot mm -hmm. of... Oh, man, it covers the good spot yeah. in government. And we get a bot placed. You're supposed to put a bot uh, where Latif's assistant is, but if there it already is one here, because each uh, column can only have max one of these, mm -hmm. then you just keep going to the next available branch. So I'm going to place that bot right there. In addition, we didn't mention this earlier, but uh, if we ever complete a column with one of Latif's bots in a two-player game, if there's any research tokens left over, Latif takes them out. We didn't run into that situation because Naveen and I we're, getting were, were able to get both. Yeah. Um, and the other thing in a two-player game is because Latif went to location two, then he removes a research token from there, depending mm -hmm. on where his assistant is. So his, his assistant is in wind. Wind. That so goes out the game. That's out. And one less uh, wind token. To Ugh, with, yeah. That's terrible. Okay, so seeing as that my whole workshop is kind of clumped up and, and crowded, I'm going to definitely want to get one of these tiles. So I'm going to spend one of my supply actions, oh, I'm sorry, my supply vouchers yep. to take uh, one of these. And I'm going to now create this. Here. Nice. So now you can hold a pink. I can hold a pink. Chemical token. Yeah. Uh huh. Yeah. Uh, so this will fill in. So let's go ahead and take, I'm going to take for one, another supply. I'm going to take a red. Oh. All right. You know what? Destruction. I'll, I'll take a pink actually instead. Okay. And put it on that said pink. Good old switcheroo. Uh, now these are going to be expensive. They are going to be expensive. So I might as well take it now while I can. Right. So I'm going to take some more chemicals. Uh, I'm going to spend another voucher to okay. take a blue chemical, place that there. And another voucher to take this red chemical. So now I have a lot of chemicals, which is good. <laughs> um, do I want to spend a science, though? This is to get that bot to go there. All right, let's do it. I'm going to spend a science. Since I'm here, I might as well hit it as hard as I can and, yeah. then, and then bail later. So I'll spend a okay. science. And then I will take a... I, I'll, take, I'll take the lab, the lab one. So I'm going to move up the lab voucher there. And now we got our robots, chemicals, and stuff. Wow, you are full. This is it. This is filled to capacity. It's filled. I can't do any more. Very good. That's me. You're not going to change initiative order? <laughs> no. No. Sometimes you might want to go last. You know, that's a thing. All right, so now back to me. Mm -hmm. All right, so back to me. I'm not going to start by spending an investment tile. Mm -hmm. This is this is gone now, by the way. Orange means done. So I'm just going to go ahead and move. I am deeply in need of vouchers. Um, as well as workshop tiles. I don't know. I'm kind of struggling with finding a way. I kind of wanted to go to the supply, but now this is going to be too expensive. It's going to cost you a, a it's supply. Gonna cost me a, a voucher uh, voucher, yeah. that I desperately need. So I'm just going to go here and take advantage of the fact that um, Latif is in location number two. So I get a lab voucher. Okay. I get a second lab voucher because in, specifically in a two-player game, if Latif is here to your left, then you gain an additional one for him as if he's an opponent. So I get another one, and I get a science voucher because he's there. Because um, I'm learning some stuff from Professor Latif. Mm. And now Latif moves on to this location. We gain another robot uh, in the weather machine. And then we don't remove anything because it's it. only location two and four. Mm -hmm. So then... What action will you be taking? Because I'm in this spot, I can only take one or the other. And I don't have any government vouchers, so... I'm going to have to take this action right here. Okay, so you're going to spend your science to do it? I'm spending one science voucher. I go up on the funding track. Okay. And then I'm going to place my last bot out, uh, I think, in a pink machine part spot. And I'm going to take this um, subsidy. The other two subsidies are better, in my opinion. You're too good. But uh, because I really desperately need another workshop tile spot, I'm going to go ahead and take this. Although, yeah, I'm going to take this. So um, I'm going to place that there, and I gain this rain token, the rain research token, which it's the end of my turn now, so I'm going to go ahead and place it out. I've completed another row. Oh, my God. So... Monique. <laughs> what? That's what you're supposed to do in this You game. literally have double the research that I do, and I feel like I'm doing okay. <laughs> oh, now I have – so now that I have six, I can start dipping into um, this assembly line. Yeah, it was actually when you had five, you can start dipping into that assembly line. Oh, yeah. That's six. If you have all six of these, we didn't talk about this. If you have all six of these robots out, then you can start dipping into this left column. Or if you have five or greater research tokens out here, then you can start dipping into this. It's a really, really tiny thing here. So uh, Monique's eligible. All right. Let's run this weather machine. Actually, let's not run it. It's not going to run. It's, uh, what is this, wind? Mm -hmm. There's wind here, but we are not there. So we follow this protocol over, over here. So we ditch the robot, 
it goes away, we remove the experimentile and uh, continue playing. So then now we're going to try to run for sun. I don't know, are you interested in sun, Naveen? This I, is going to be five points. I do have a blue. You do. I do. There we go. All right, that is the end. So now it just goes back to you because uh, nothing's really changing. No. <laughs> until, I, until I go to supply and change turn order. Nothing else is going to happen at the end there. Monique has a good amount of infrastructure there. She doesn't have any vouchers, but she set herself up to just get straight <laughs> Don't points. Don't have any vouchers, that's true. Uh, so I'm gonna I'm gonna move here. I need to finally get into this spot. So I'm gonna move into this middle section here. Okay. All right. So, so I get a government voucher, which is very important. Um, I'm gonna then take this action because I'm not even eligible for this action right now. So I'm gonna spend one of my R and D vouchers to then get a little bump here. Oh yes. Uh, I'm gonna place out one of my robots. So let's go ahead and place out this robot onto this spot here. Oh, okay. Paying the... Red chemical. No, you know what? Let's, let's do this one right here because the blue chemical isn't going to happen for a long time. Okay. So I'll, I'll put that right there. You get a bump up on a funding track of your choice. Funding track Those. of my choice, yeah. Okay. okay, so I think I'm going to move up on to this track here. Okay. Yeah. Nice. All right. And then you get this. I do. You're in the snow business. I'm in the snow business. Here we go. Nice. There we go. We have a full row finally. Wonderful. Yes. I have some options. Um, things have changed <laughs> since you did that. I'm wondering if I should just go to supply mm -hmm. and start building some bots. Well, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to flip over my subsidy tile because there's no day like today, right? Sure. And there really <laughs> is no reason to wait on this. This is just allows me to take a workshop tile. So I'm going to, ooh, I guess the color matters. <laughs> color does um, matter, yeah. Well, I can make green. I can hold, what is that, pink? That's like the peachish color, this one right here. I do like that there are several. I'm going to take this one because there You're are. You're going to create a new branch. I'm going to create, yeah. I'm just going to go over over one Sure. like that. So can you go ahead and refill that for me, please? And so that was a free um, action because it was my subsidy tile that I cashed in there. I am going to go to supply. I'm going to go to the supply location, okay. and I'm going to get to... Take a science voucher. Sure. We're going there. So any, any voucher, so you're choosing science. Yes, okay. I'm choosing science. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to build a robot. So I'm going to go ahead and build um, this one okay. for one supply voucher. It's going to get me an R&D voucher. And now I finally have a robot. <laughs> that, you know, hot tip, you need a robot to do most of things in this game. Yeah, as you can see, so you place robots out. The thing that you really want to do is try to maintain a robot economy by placing them out and getting them back. But sometimes it's impossible to do because yeah. you got to leave them. You leave them yep. where they are. Yep. Then I'm just going to spend my last supply voucher on my last robot yeah. because robots are a yeah. robot hot economy. item. Yeah. So that's going to get me a lab voucher. And now I've got another robot, which I guess I'll just put there. Cool. That's it. So I am ending my turn. I'm not going to change initiative order. I don't have enough vouchers for that. Sure. Nobody has enough vouchers for that. So we check to see if the machine runs, and it does, it does not, not, although we do have a sun experimental that's going to go bye-bye. Robot goes out. And the assistant moves. Over. Yeah, these okay. move over. So the next type of weather we're looking at fog, is fog. Followed by uh, snow. Which is here in case, and this only requires one more person to be there since we have a, a robot there. Mm -hmm. Just so you know, Naveen. Okay. <laughs> now it's back to you. Where are you going to go? Mm. Well, as you can see, the game flows kind of like, you just kind of go around in circles and yeah. circles. Yep. So. so I think I'm going to chase Latif out of this spot because nice. now that I filled out a row here, I'd like to do this action to kind of unlock some stuff. So I'm going to move over into the lab. All right. Uh, because Latif is here, I get one up on the R&D. Actually, I get two up on the R&D because okay. they act like a um, a second player in the two-player game specifically. So right. I get a double bump on R&D and I get one science, kind of like what Monique did here a couple rounds ago. Yes, exactly. Okay. So Latif moves, moves over here. Uh, we get a robot um, over there. here in rain because the assistant is in fog. Latif removes Oust. a fog research token from location number four. That's like a third player Terrible. competing for those things, yeah. Right. Okay, so now I get to take uh, one of these two actions. I really wanted this over here, but mm -hmm. I can't because Latif was there. Mm -hmm. uh, so I'm going to do this action on the right. So I do have a full row here. Uh, okay. Monique, unfortunately, is the first one to get this, so I'm not going to get the three points that she did. Um, but what I'm going to be able to Are do... Are you publishing a paper? Yeah, I'm publishing a paper. So All I'm right. going to slide this over. Yep. Uh, which gets me a robot of my choice, um, I think. Well, okay, sorry. I have to spend uh, this I, in order to do this action. Oh, you didn't spend your vouchers yet? Not yet. So this is important because 
by me sliding this over, it, the only one, because I'm going to take a robot, it's going to have to be housed here, meaning I don't have any more space for mm -hmm. any, anything else. So I think I have to take this robot because this benefit was going to be another machine part. Right. So because I maxed out on this resource by taking this off, I would get that same uh, voucher. Sorry, not resource. Uh -huh. uh, I have to do some manipulating here. Looking at it though, I think I'm gonna have to unfortunately waste it. Yeah, because yeah. these are capped. These are these are max limits. You cannot go past them. Yeah, I don't want to give adulterous. up other things. Yeah, don't, don't, just waste it. <laughs> yeah, so I'm gonna spend one, two, go down there, and okay. then now I'll do the whole sliding thing. So this is gonna slide over. Yep. So following that. Yep. Um, I'm gonna get two six, points. Six points. So, yeah, two points per uh, one of these. So I yep. get six points total. So I go from uh, 10 to 16. So now the score right now is 16 me, uh, 19 Monique. Um, by me sliding over, I get one of these, and then I get a robot, which I will take. Unfortunately, I'm not eligible for this one yet. <laughs> the pain. I know. So I'm going to take this robot, which would give me another one of these, which I don't have access to right now. So that's that. Nice. Yep. So then uh, it goes back to me, and I'm actually super annoyed that Latif is here. <laughs> Cause you want I to do a double double. Yeah, I had planned for that actually. Good. And it would be nice if I were to go there, because then Lati would move here and we'd collect income. I think we know the answer. All right. uh, before I do that though, I'm going to spend an investment tile. I messed up on the last time I should have done that. You, yeah, oh, that's okay. Well, I'm going to spend an investment tile to get a goal into my area here, and I'm going to go ahead and put this goal into play. This is specifically an R and D goal, so all all of the goals follow into uh, three different categories, and they're based off of the locations. So this goal says at the end of the game, I need to have the most or or tied for the most of these tokens in the right hand side of my column. Mm. Right now I have the most at a grand total of two, but we'll see what happens by the end of the game. And so I'm gonna go ahead and place this uh, in this part here so I can get a machine part as a reward. And I'm gonna take a white one, please. Thank you. Okay, so before I move, I'm gonna do some rearranging, get everything into position and then I'm gonna to move to R&D. So I gain a government voucher, I gain a second one because of Latif, and then I gain a science voucher. And now we have vouchers, finally. Gosh. <sighs> but because I'm in this spot, Gosh. I can only do one or the other, which is super annoying, because I wanted to do both. And Latif now moves into uh, Latif's office. So we're gonna have income at the end of this round. So uh, while I'm here, I might as well uh, do this action, which is a breakthrough. I'm gonna have a breakthrough because I've published a paper. So I have to spend two R&D vouchers for this. And this is the first time we're doing this. So we're gonna walk you through it. First thing that happens is your finished weather token, the one that's been slid, slid over after taking this action, is gonna get placed onto the extreme weather tile of the corresponding weather. So this is snow, my row is snow. So it's gotta go on one of these two spots. I can either get a machine part or I can get two points and I'm gonna go for the points. So I'm gonna go ahead and place mine there. And then I have to pay. You have to pay machine parts equal to whatever is in that column. So because I have a level two um, uh, extreme weather tile here, it's gonna require me to pay a white machine part in addition. Mm -hmm. But I also have to pay a blue, red, and another red. For each bot that's in this branch, they can automatically provide the machine part for you if you don't want to provide that. But for each one that you do provide, it's gonna be two points. Because this is a level two uh, extreme weather tile, I also have to pay a science voucher, which is super annoying. But alas, what can you do? And so I'm just gonna go ahead and pay all three of these machine parts because you have to spend an entire row from your factory, regardless of what, what's there. So you could be wasting. So it's one white, a blue, and a red. Um, she's not using my bot, essentially, is what she's saying. <laughs> not using Naveen's bot. She's it's, not going to give me a pass of two points. Well, I have the machine part. Yes. <laughs> you selected a blue a long time ago. Good job. So I'm spending um, all three of these machine parts, which means it's going to be two points plus uh, six. So it's eight plus one for the robot that ten I have points. there. So ten points. So I'm going to go ahead and move up to 29. I think we did that properly. We did that right, yeah. Yeah, and then um, as a reward, I gain my first award token. So award tokens are nice because they help you complete a row without needing that additional research token. But uh, th this is an exception to the research token rule. It can sit up here until you're ready to use it. Mm -hmm. So whenever you want on your turn, you can just move it down into um, an office row of your choice. That's the end of my turn. So we're gonna go ahead and check the weather machine. 
it does not run because we are not <laughs> in, in that branch at all. So this bot goes away. This gets discarded. These slide down. And it looks like we never put one here. Oh, yeah. yep, that's <laughs> so right. that's going to go directly there. There. And now we've got some. There. Um, and then Latif's assistant moves. I do want to mention that this is probably going to be the timer for that's our totally game. That's totally going to be it, yeah. So we, it looks like we're probably more than halfway through. Uh, so that's a little bit scary. And now we're going to end the round by taking income because mm -hmm. Latif is here. And income is everything that is uh, open in your top two assembly areas. Yeah. So do you want to go first? Sure. So I get um, a lab voucher. Yeah, we basically each get one of each location voucher. My r and so. is wasted. Uh, I do get a government voucher. I get a supply as well as a science. Nice. So I took all three of here. I also get a science voucher, a supply voucher, and a machine part of my choice. So let's go with pink. May I have a pink machine part, please? Thank you. And that's it. That is the end of the round. Latif goes back to supply. And uh, goes back to Naveen. Okay, so I need to get moving on this R and D, and I'm going to do it now. So I'm going to okay. move from lab yeah. to here. So I don't get any benefits because you're to the right of me. You still but get I do the... get that one single benefit. Yeah. No extra benefits, I guess. Yeah. True. Yeah. So that's a government voucher. Yeah. Right? So I can do both of these actions, and so now I think I'm going to do the one on the left first. This one. Yeah. Okay. So I am going to spend one of my vouchers. Uh-huh. You go up on, on the, the track. funding track. Yeah. And then now I'm going to put out a uh, a robot yep. accordingly. So I'll put out, let's just take this robot and place it. I'm going to go into this rain section here. Nice. Because I do have one of these red Chemical chemicals tokens. put there. And you gain another one. I do. So which one would you like? So I'll take a blue chemical as okay. my reward. Yeah, after, at the end of this round, it looks like they're, it's going to attempt to run for snow, and Nothing's happening you don't get snow. a research token for it, but it's going to be six points per robot, so yeah. you can get in there twice somehow. That'd be pretty good. You got a way to do that or something? <laughs> Secrets? Oh, gosh. All right. <laughs> um, I don't have a way to do it. So I will then uh, get this, this very, very important thing for me so i'm gonna put this here yep oh wait i don't put it there yet i put it there oh yeah <laughs> i'll just let you do yeah. it well it's yeah. the end of your turn uh no i get to do both actions oh so yes, yes, yes yes yeah have another thing to do that's right okay so that was uh completing this section here so now we're gonna go into that breakthrough breakthrough so i'm wow. gonna spend these two r and d's what are they? eureka eureka epiphany yeah <laughs> yeah. All right. So, and so because I have um, cleared off, I've done this action, yep. I'm going to represent this one here. Yep. So I'm going to place this token out there. The last spot. Yeah. And the benefit there is I get to take a machine part. So I'm going to definitely take the white machine part. Yep. It's going to be very important. Uh, and then now I'm going to um, contribute these machine parts to, uh, I guess, running this experiment here. So it's one white. Uh, blue, red, and red. Yeah. So you you are doing this row? Exactly. So you're doing a, a red. A red. And a white. And the white. So that's two, four. My robot, six. six and then you get two points. Yes. So that's kind of crummy. <laughs> but I guess I'll six. take it. So 22 right now to 31, Monique. You also have to spend a science voucher uh, to do yes, this. Yes, I will do so. It's a level two yes. of extreme weather. And now that this is completely filled, this actually gets cleared off. Mm -hmm. So... There's these are, that. These are out. Uh, and then for doing this, I do get an award. We're stabilizing the weather. I do get an award. Yes, you do. Best part of the I'll take it. best part of the action. All right, perfect. And then now I believe that is the end of my my turn. Yep. And so this is gonna now go into this little slot. Uh, go ah, pink. over there. Pink. pink <laughs> is pink. There we go. And you can fill in that last spot with your award. I I could. Token. Uh, the award token can hang out for a second. Yeah. Until I really see what you're gonna do. Oh. I'm being watched. All right, so now it's back to me. <laughs> yes. Uh, did you start your turn by doing this? Oh gosh. Uh, Why don't you do it? I, I feel like you've been you've been wasting some turns on absolutely forgetting that. Do you want to do it or not? Yeah, my bad. Okay. So yeah, technically you're supposed to, to start your turn. I keep telling myself, and I said it in the last turn. Yeah, I um, get it though. Go ahead. I am not eligible though to place uh, one of my tokens onto this bottom because they were all filled. Ah. I, I was maxed out, I believe, because I had a robot here, yes. and so I would not have done that. I would have definitely done uh, one of these instead, which would probably be a bump. So I'm going to put out this tile. Okay. I hate to say this out loud, but uh, it's 
equal to are the most workshop tiles at the end of the game. Interesting. Unfortunately, because we're filming this, I have to say it out loud to everybody, but now Monique you knows would, what I'm gunning for. You would announce this yeah. if you're playing the actual game. There's no secrets in Lacerda Games. Just let no me tie you with you, Monique. Let me get these five points. You're doing great. All right. And so uh, I'm going to put this in. Uh, it has to go in the blue section. So uh -huh. I'm going to put it here. And I'm not taking the... I don't think I had space for it at the time. Sure. I, I might have had space for it, but I'm just going to take the one bump up okay. on something. on a voucher. On a voucher. And um, I might as well take it up on a... I feel like science is always the answer. It's true. You're right. So oh, well then. Sold. Okay, so then it is now back to me. I have to get rid of this. Oh, so. thank you. And first I'm going to spend my investment tile. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to go ahead and discard this. And I think, I think I'm going to put out another goal here. I'm gonna do this one. Okay. This has to do with the the lab funding track. I think I have to be either the furthest ahead or or tied for. And so I'm gonna go ahead and place this here, and so that will get me a chemical. Which one? Do you and use? I think I would like. I'm gonna try I'm gonna to run the green? the weather machine. Oh. Yeah, I'll stick with the green. Okay. okay. Green has not uh, led me Hasn't astray you thus yet? far. <laughs> All right. Uh oh. And then I'm going to move to a new location. So I'm going to go ahead and go to the double um, lab spot. That's sure. going to get me a bump up on R&D. And I'm going to take both actions. So it doesn't really matter what order I do them in, I think. So I'm just going to start with this one. Okay. So that's one lab voucher. Um, I put out a robot. And I think I have to go here. Yep. So I'm going to spend that green uh, chemical. So you need to go up on the track. You said it. Oh, thank you. you <laughs> Sorry, I, got you. Uh, I almost forgot that. Uh, and so that is the end of that action. That I'm going to do this one, and I'm going to publish my paper on rain. <sighs> so rain two, papers. two lab vouchers, and let's go ahead and slide this. And sliding this, the benefit here says that I can take this action without having to spend the the chemical. You just have to spend so, the, uh, the 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 robot, robot which you yeah. have, which is very good. <laughs> Thank you. So I'm going to do that really quick, and then I'll get back to this in a second. Uh, so I go back um, up on the funding track. And then my last robot is going to go up here so mm -hmm. that this this part of the weather machine is going to run cool. at the end of the turn. Yep. Okay, so now back to this. I've done the slide. I got my benefit. Oh, and then I'm going to pay a science voucher right. to unlock rain. Right. So now, oh, where's rain? Rain can now be um, cited, cited in future publications. All right. That's going to score me three points. One, two, three. Okay. And then I'm going to score the row. So they're all research tokens, two, four, six. So that goes to 40. Uh -huh. And then I get an investment tile for uh, for my troubles. So that's it. Oops, I knocked over your, your chemical <laughs> token. <laughs> Very good. All right. Uh, I believe that's the end of that my okay. action. That okay. is everything. So. Well, very good. Shall we run the weather machine? I didn't think you were going to be able to do that, and you just pulled it out. It was the, the yeah. twofer. Yeah, the twofer. <laughs> okay, so not good. we're running for snow. It's a complete column. We've got a snow experiment tile in here. So um, I'm the only one there. I'm going to take back both of my robots. Okay. And I... Spend two science, it to, says. Yes, I have to spend two science vouchers, which is unfortunate because I only have one. So here's one. And okay. I have to spend three. Three of something else or a combination of other things. All right. One, two, three. Uh, just a little bit of everything. Because I paid, I get six points per robot. So that's going to be 12 points. So then I go to 52. Uh-oh. And then I can choose to either take another investment tile or take this action, but I have to pay everything, just not the vouchers. Right. Um, I think I'm going to take this action. It feels good. I don't know. Uh, I, I do have the part, the machine part for it. So okay. I'm going to do it. So I first go up on the, the government funding track, please. Thank you. And then I'm going to place my robot out. It has to be a pink colored spot. Yep. And, I, you know, I've been eyeing this subsidy uh, tile for a long time, so I'm going to mm. put that there and take this. This subsidy tile allows you to publish, or let's you take this action, but it's a subsidy tile, so that's kind of cool. Interesting. And then I'm going to take my Sun Research token. Okay, so which... essentially that, that this tile here, that little symbol, is taking this action right here. You still have to pay mm -hmm. um, what's necessary on the board. Right. I'm going to put it here because it has the promise of two machine parts, which uh, which I like. So Pretty promising. <laughs> thank you. That is it mm -hmm. for this. Where are we here? We did all that. I don't get a research token because there's no more left, but I do get a science voucher. Science re refund, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> a refund. We're going to add a um, an extreme weather token on top of snow. The same one comes back. We solved it yeah. once, and there it is again. There it is again. It's a little bit more expensive. 
And then this goes out. Okay. I'm going to refill this. Yep. You can slide that in. Uh, you got it. Okay, and so now we have sun. Robot goes back, and this goes to rain. Okay. Rain is not. This is why the machine's not going to run this next turn. So. Ooh. Um, yeah, rain is not in, so we know the next one to run is this uh, wind over here. Mm. But I do want to tell you <clears throat> that we are. There's only three tiles here left. Yeah. So if we don't end it by one of us taking the Nobel Prize, essentially, because nobody's going to complete these two areas, then um, this is going to be our time limit. And let's see, we're not going to put one in now, but we will the next three there, times. There, there, yeah. So you're looking at probably four, is that four actions? So we are getting uh, to the end here. Yeah. We're definitely in the last third. It's glasses time. <laughs> okay, back okay, to so you, I think we need a score update here because I think we can see your scoring marker and my scoring marker is not visible. Yet. We Yet, yeah. We have me, the lonely 22, to Monique's 52. <laughs> well, it was a big turn. <laughs> it was a big turn. Wow. Um, I did not think you can get those 12 points there. Wow. Well done. I hope, I hope I did it properly. Uh, that, is a, that is a hope. Me. I just want to remind oh. you that if you want to use your investment tile. Yeah, I think I should. I think I need to. This is this is getting kind of ridiculous. So I'm going to I'm gonna spend this okay. and put in a new uh, token. So I'm going to play this one, this purple one. This essentially says uh, have equal to or the most amount of robots in this area here. Nice. So, so we're tied right we're now. We're tied right now. I'm going to place this in this bottom section here, which um, says I get a machine part of my choice. Uh, I'm going to take a green machine part. Nice. Okay. All right. So Hard I'm yeah. <laughs> so I'm going to be moving <laughs> over to the government. And what I'm going to get here is one of these lab vouchers for going there. And then I'm going to take both actions. And the first action I'm going to take is going to be... Okay, you know, I'm, I'm actually not going to take a green. I want a blue instead. Oh, okay. I'm, actually, I'm not even going to go to this location. I'm going to go back to supply. Oh, wow. Instead, so I, I don't get this <laughs> voucher. Yeah. Okay. I'm not too happy about it because I'm maxed out on this science. So that means in the previous turn, I should have spent science if I knew I was going to go to supply. Yeah. Because I was going to get it back because right. I'm visiting this guy over The here. planning is really hard. Uh, ruin, <laughs> ruin, 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 ruin. And so the part or the voucher I'm going to take is going to be supply since I'm at supply. Yeah, it's fitting. Uh, yes. So uh, the very first action I'm going to take here is I'm going to spend two of them. Wait, wait, sorry. Um, uh -huh. Yeah, even though you don't get the oh, third yeah, voucher, the team still moves. See you later, Latif. So the team is going to block off the spot. Yep. Gosh. Mm -hmm. But we do put a robot out here. Robot goes there. And we got to ditch that research token. Yes, so that's that's the two player rules. The assistant is. Okay. Yep. So go ahead, carry on. <laughs> Carry on. Okay, so uh, I'm going to spend two of my supply vouchers to put out this robot here, because that's what it costs, two robots. And the reason why I can do this is because I have at least five um, I have five things on my board. Okay, so right perfect. here it says five or equal to, greater than five or equal to um, research tokens on your office. Yeah, I have that. you technically have six, because this counts. Yeah, I haven't, I haven't placed it technically here, so I don't know if that counts. It does, it counts, okay, it well, says in the rules. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to take this one, uh, and essentially what it does is it allows me to take this action for free without spending the uh, chemicals. So yeah, seeing as I have these chemicals and I know that the sun is coming, I will put it out here. Nice. Okay, so what that allows me to do is then take this action for free. Uh, I get to move up that track. Very good. Uh, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to spend uh, two science to then put out another robot into my possession and i'm just going to place it here okay and then the benefit i get is i get to go up any tr any uh, voucher and i'm just gonna take a science back nice so you really just uh, got it for one and so that's it that's gonna be no more no more buying uh yeah that's it all right no more supplies shopping <laughs> is done yeah okay so then it goes uh to me and i gotta vacate this location here so you're bailing but first i think i'm going to spend my investment tile okay um oh i Oh, no, I can't publish. What am I talking about? I don't have any. Okay. I'm going to spend this investment tile. Okay. And uh, I'm going to secure funding. This is the first time we're doing this in the game. Okay. And so in order for me to do this, I'm basically reaping the benefits of one of the uh, funding tracks here. Nice. Yeah, that's uh, really nice. And so I'm going to flip over. The thing you have to do is you choose one of your goal tiles that you placed here and you flip it over. It doesn't have an effect at the end of the game. I could still score the goal tile. But this dictates which track you get to um, seek, seek funding from. And so okay. this is my green one. So I'm going to gain the benefits of this track. And the way that the green track works is I get everything from where I am and below. So that's two science vouchers, one, two. Yes. And then I get to choose one of these two tracks and I get to gain the benefits from that track um, with, the modifier. with the modifier. And for me, it's going to be plus two. 
So I'm going to, to do this one. So plus two would be one, two. So you get this, this, and this. Yes. So you get a bump on some track. You get a chemical and a boost in one of your vouchers. Ooh, I'm going to do it. All right. yep. I'm going up here. Nice. And I also get a chemical. Sure, let's go green. Green cool. is my green color is today. Good. All right, <laughs> and you get a one voucher bump. Yes, I'm going to go up on R&D. Yeah, that makes I sense. I believe that's where I'm going. <laughs> You're so over there, huh? that's it for um, that part of my action. I'm now going to move. And that's going to, let's go to R&D. Okay. So that's going to get me one government uh, voucher right there. And I'm taking both of these actions. Which order? I think, or my, yes, the order matters. Uh, this one first. Okay. So I'm going to spend one R&D to place. Ew. So you're going to go up that track. Yes. Uh, yes, I go up on this track right here. Thank you. So no longer in the marsh. Reminding me. Yeah. And I'm going to place my last robot out, and it's got to be here. So I place mm. my green chemical there. It's going to get me a machine part, and that was very important, uh, or else I won't be able to do this. Which uh, part would you like? The I'll blue take one? blue. Yep. Sure. Let's go blue. Thank you. And cannot forget, um, I also get this research token that's going to hang out up there. So uh, now I'm going to take... This, the second action, which is the breakthrough, uh, creating a prototype, right? Okay. So I have to spend my last two R&D vouchers. Um, I'm going to put out this weather token, and it is for rain. So it's got to go here. Mm. And I'm going to place it here on that spot, actually, because I really need that second machine part. Yes. And it's going to be pink. Can I have a pink machine part, sure. please? Sure. Okay, I see what you've done. And then um, these... Pretend like they're here, because you can move these around at any time. Yep. <laughs> uh, and then I'm going to pay for them. So this, in order to build this prototype, I have to first spend a science voucher, mm -hmm. and then I have to pay a blue, a pink, and then technically pink and red, but we're going to allow the robots to handle those. Okay. So it's going to be two, four, six points for me, and two points for you. All right. So. Get something. 28. 24. There you go. Are you happy? Uh, yeah. <laughs> if you're going to do it anyway, I might as well get some points. Um, I'm going to place this now because I need space for the reward token that comes from that. Very nice. Are so you going to put that sun out there to wrap up your turn? Yes. You I think that's point. it, right? That's yeah, the end of that's, that's, the end that's of everything. It. There's nothing else that we see here? Yep. All right. So I'm going to finish my turn placing this here, and that's going to get me two uh, supply vouchers. So that's going to be nice. Wow. You are just filling it in, huh? That's it. That's the goal. Amazing. All right. <laughs> Thanks. That oh, well, that's it for the round. So, uh, looks like where is he here? Yep. Uh, we are not going to run yeah, for rain. It's not in this uh, yeah, spot right there. Yeah, there's no experimental, so they just move on to to wind. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And that's that. It's going to go back to you. It looks like uh, the way things are going, we're probably going to have four more turns, Yeah. Ooh. Four more rounds. So. I just need to pick up some points. Make it count. All right. So <laughs> I am going to move into the lab section, and I'm going to be taking the spot that gives me both uh, actions. Uh, okay. the, the first one I'm going to do is... I'm, well, first you get an R&D. I do get an R&D. Thank Don't you. Don't sell yourself short. I, thank you. And so <laughs> I'm going to take this action on the right first. Uh-huh. Uh, so the way I, I'm going to do this is I'm going to put this award tile that I've been hanging on to. And I'm just going to slip it right there. And in order to do this, I do have to spend two of my uh, lab vouchers. Okay. So now that this is full, I'm going to slide this over. So I get a, uh, what are those black tokens, please? Oh, uh, yeah. No, I'm forgetting what they're called. called. Investment tiles. Investment tiles. Investment. There we go. But first, you get this benefit. I do get that benefit. So the benefit is going to be, um, I get to take this action which yep. I'm going to do again in a second, but I'm, I get to take this action, uh, but I don't have to pay the uh, resource required. So right. I'm going to go ahead and put this one and I will just lay it down right here. Okay. On that pink one. Nice. I see what you're doing here. Yeah. And so because I did that, I do get to go up on the track and then uh, I am going to now uh, complete this, the rest of this action. So I actually took this a little bit uh, prematurely. Yeah, so. <laughs> you did. Uh, but I do get points here. Um, I get... Uh, Two, four, and then uh, for each award that's in part of this, you get uh, four points. So it's a total of eight points uh, total from this one. Okay. All right. So I'm at 24. Going to go to 32. Nice. All right. And so that's for rain. Yes. Yeah, so that was now this action. I'm going to do this one, spending my last voucher in that category. And I'm going to do uh, another bump here. Uh-oh. That's not good. <laughs> and then uh, um, <laughs> my gold tile. I'm put out a well. You can tie. So and then yeah. I'm gonna put out a robot on uh, this one. 
Uh oh. Spending the blue. That oh my gosh. To do it. Naveen, that's going to be 18 points. Ah, uh, that's the only way I can get that's, points. That's a 20 pointer that you're looking for. I was looking for a 20 pointer. <laughs> 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 but the problem is, it's not going to score now. I have to wait an entire turn to get that benefit. As long so. as it scores before the end of the game, right? Yeah. I Very good. So. All right. All right. Where are you going? Back to me. I'm going to take the most boring, uh, horrible turn. I'm going to supply. <laughs> it's been a while. Actually, but first. Yeah, I'm going to spend my, my subsidy tile because this allows me to publish. Ah, and I might as so well good. do it now because you only do one of these tiles per turn. Uh -huh. So you're kind of, we're kind of limited there. So I'm going to do the publish action, which is this. And I'm publishing for the Sun. newly created Sun. Yeah. <laughs> Dude. It's important. Nice. Uh, so first thing is I slide this over. I'm going to get two machine parts, but I'm going to, I'm going to save that for in a second. Okay. I don't know what color I'm getting yet. Okay. Exactly. This is the first time that we're publishing for Sun. And so I'm going to spend, spend a, science? a science voucher, yeah, Amazing. to unlock, uh, or in conjunction with unlocking that. And so it's going to be three points plus two, four, and awards are four points. So it's eight plus three. <laughs> there goes my eight points to your 11 points. 11? <laughs> yes, it's 11. <laughs> okay, uh, so, so 69. So you got 69. All right. And uh, <laughs> then I just get the investment tile, right? Yes. Get the investment tile, and I can choose two machine parts. Okay, I'll take green and white. Green and white. Yeah, for yeah. these two what you machine doing? parts. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if it's really going to come to fruition, but we're going to try. So that was my um, my subsidy tile mm -hmm. where I did the published. And you said you were going to go to supply? Yes, I'm going to supply. Okay. Thank you. You get a bump um, up something. I'm going to go. Yeah, I'm just going to take science. Cool. And here, I'm going to basically just build. Two robots. I need robots. robots. I need them so badly. I was one robot short, and it made me go to supply for this. Okay. So two supply for uh, this robot, okay. which is going to get me a chemical. Nice. And so let's get... Let's do white. White. Oh, actually, it's here. There you go. Let's grab a white. So then I'm going to do it again. I'm going to build another robot. So spending two uh, science vouchers. I'm going to build this one. And it's just going to get me an, another voucher. Get your so voucher I'm back. Going to get my voucher back. Yeah. Exactly. Refund. There you go. There's my science voucher. Cool. And I believe that's it. I don't think I, I don't have any more supply vouchers. My science vouchers are way too valuable for me to do anything else there. So that's it. Anticlimactic. <laughs> uh, and that is the end of this round. So yes. let's go see if the weather machine runs. It is okay. wind. We do have a wind experiment tile here. Unfortunately, it doesn't run though. Happen. So let's go ahead and move it Advance. over and this goes out uh yes that goes out and, and we now have rain comes in rain comes in uh fog and then it's rain again oh wow so these are kind of mysteries these last two because everything was uh covered up uh three of the other weather tiles were uh, randomly taken out of the game so we didn't know until the very very end here so three three actions left definitely wow definitely three three turns left and that's it. At the end of this next glorious round for you, you're going to get 18 points. Make sure you have two sides. Don't spend your science vouchers. Uh, <laughs> and you'll get another robot. Ooh. Wow, you're going to have four robots. Are you even going to be able to hold them all? No, but at least I'll get kicked off and I get the benefits. Okay, I'm going to spend my investment tile. Oops, this flips back up to orange. And I'm going to put out a new goal. I'm going to put this one out. And this one basically says uh, have equal to or the most... Um, what are these called? Laboratory uh, research in my office. Uh, <laughs> completed rows in your office or uh, a specific location? No, I think it's a specific column. Can I see? I believe so. This is just having the most tokens in the middle column. Correct. Yeah. yeah that's it. Or equal or to, equal or, the two or the most. Yeah. So I'm going to say hey, that's going to happen. I'll go here and I'm going to drop it into this little slot right there and I'm going to take an extra science voucher. Nice. Okay. I'm going to move over to R&D and we are going to unfortunately, I'm going to gain some of this, which I already have over here. Unfortunately, I'm, I'm in the same problem that I keep having, but I'm gonna I'm gonna take this spot in the middle because I'm not gonna be able to do both of these. Uh, and then I'm gonna take this action, which is a breakthrough. Okay. Uh, and I'm gonna be uh, doing this one here. So I, I'm eligible with this little token. Mm -hmm. This one's gonna go onto the two points. So I, I'm gonna get two points in a second. Uh, and then I have. Well, you take that immediately. Okay, cool. Yeah, Thirty-four. And then uh, I am going to have a breakthrough with uh, this one right here. Yep. So it requires a pink. Uh, this robot's going to handle this. This robot's going to handle this. And then a blue cog. And so that's my pink and blue cog. Yep. So that's two, four, five, six for me. And then you get two for contributing. Wonderful. Thank you. Uh -huh. So you go to 40. 
Mm -hmm. And uh, you also have to spend a science voucher. Ah, uh, yes, a science voucher to do so. this is a terrible extreme weather tile, but now we, we've completely filled it. So it's out of the game. Okay. And this goes back out. We've stabilized the, uh, the planet a little bit a here. A bit, yeah. You get an award. award. Yeah. There you go. Cool. Congratulations. Thank you. That's that's that, because you just took the one action, right? Ah, uh, yes. All right. I'm going to start by spending my uh, investment tile here, and I'm going to put out a new goal. So this is a government goal. Oh, wait, no, not this one. This mm. one. This is a government goal, and uh, it just wants me to have the most bots oh. in the government branches Doing by the good. end of the game. So I'm going to place it here, which is going to get me a, a chemical. So the only chemical I can hold is a green one. Green again. So it's got to be got to be that, uh, that good old green. And now I'm going to move. So I'm here in supply. I'm going to go ahead and finally move over here, because I'm going to mm. kick Lativ out of location sure. number two. So you're going to get double bump on the um, oh, laboratory voucher, the laboratory, yes. and you get one science. And one science. Lativ is going to get moved mm -hmm. here. And we get a bot. You do get a bot. Placed here, somewhere there. Somewhere there. Yeah, uh, yeah and that's it for, for Lativ. So here, unfortunately, I can only do one action, because Lativ was sitting on that beautiful spot. Twice. So <laughs> I'm going to take this one, allowing me to sell a machine part, I'm going to sell this green machine part over here, and it's. I'm going to grab this this uh, subsidy tile, mm. which in the future can allow me to do this um, again, I guess, on oh. a future turn. So here's the <laughs> I see green, exactly what you have lined up. Oh my gosh! Tile, and uh, I get the the sun. I get the sun. Oh my name. So, there's that. It's the end of my turn, so I can place this out, and I might as well. I mean, I'm going to place it here. Just for the the chance to, to to slide on that, that'll get me some bump ups on the funding, mm -hmm. and that's uh, that's it. That's my turn. So now let's let's reap your beautiful rewards. Yes. I mean, this is this is your your time. Thank you. We're going to run the weather machine here for Sun, and Naveen gets all three of his robots back. There you go. Can you pay the two science vouchers? Yeah, there goes all my vouchers. One, two. And so now you're going to get six points per robot. So, it's 18 so points. that's 18 points. You are now at 58. 58. So the scores are 58 to 71. We're both yep. over here now. And would you like to build another robot or do you want an investment tile? You know, I think I'm going to, well, my robots are all full here. And um, yeah, so you can't even house another robot. I can't house another one. So investment tile. <laughs> <laughs> it, it told me what to do. It told you, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, you also get the sun. We do token. get one of these. Congratulations. Yes. Oh, thank you. So you get to place that out immediately. Where should I put this? In? Um, and then we are going to make sun a little bit more. Oh, that's terrible. <sighs> I didn't take this into consideration. Where should I put now this it's going to be harder to complete. Wow, that's terrible. Anyway, this goes out. Okay. And this is going to slide over. We're going to have a new one come in. This is, oh, wow. This is it. So now uh, it's going to be for fog. We have two turns left. Two turns left, yeah. Oh I still gosh. have to figure out where I'm going to put this. I'm going to put it right here and then just get a one bump right here. All right. On that track. Okay, so I'm going to spend this. <laughs> I'm going to get rid of it, the thing I just got. All right. And I'm going to be uh, flipping over this tile so that I can reap the benefits oops, of this one. Okay. So that means I am going to uh, assess from this over here. So I'm going to get... One, two, science. So one, two. And then I get a plus three to any one of these, either this one or this one. And so the other track I get to assess is this one. So I get a plus one, two, three. Mm -hmm. And so I get a one bump, a color, and then a another bump. So uh, let me get a bump on. Might as well go here just so I'm in the margins. Or you know what? Actually, I'm just going to get a bump here. Oh, man. Yeah. You're trying to edge me off the I, I have my to. goal. Yeah. yeah. Uh, <laughs> That's plus five to you. Is, terrible. Is, yeah. So I'll do that as that bump. Uh, I'm going to get a color. So I'm going to take a white. Okay. And the white will go here. Okay. I'll take a one bump on the lab. All right. All right. And so now it's the actual turn. And we are going to come over to Mr. Latif. <laughs> so I get a double bump on R&D. One, two. And I get a science bump to max me out there. That's good. Yeah. Uh, and then now I can only take one of these two actions. Plus, I, I'm not even eligible for this action right here. But I think I will go with uh, this action. So I am going to uh, spend that one lab. Okay. Uh, it bumps me up here. So now I have four points at the end of the game there. That's pretty good. Yeah. Uh, and then I will uh, put out a bot. I might as well put out one of these bots. Uh, onto this spot, which requires that white that I earned earlier. Mm -hmm. And the white goes back. 
And so now that's kind of hanging out, uh, ready to go. Nice. So that was this action? That was that action, yep. And so Latif is actually supposed to move, sorry, after I, I did this whole thing, and they're going to move to this spot here. That's right. And because they move there, we're going to assess based off of the weather where the assistant is. So this is going to go out. Right. Yeah. Oh, uh, well, they also get a bot. Uh, they do get a bot. Right there. Yeah. Into the snow, which is not coming up. <laughs> the snow, that's right. Yeah. Okay, so now it's back to me, and my plans are totally foiled, and I only have two turns left, but I'm going to move to the lab. Okay. So that's going to get me an R&D. Voucher. I'm only going to be able to do one thing here, even though I took the both, the sweet, sweet both action spot. Um, I'm just going to publish, surprisingly. Wow. I'm publishing early. And so this is the first time we're seeing this. I'm basically going to have to, to use a, a citation. I cite a previous paper to complete that last token. Okay. Um, You're going to cite yourself. I'm going to cite myself. <laughs> <laughs> so you're going to put the award in. So first I'm going to spend my two lab vouchers for this. There they go. There that is. And then I'm going to, uh, I'm going to place this. I, I might as well place this here. So that's going to get me a bump up in the, um, the, the purple track. Yeah, the purple track, the R&D funding, funding track. Then I have to cite a previously published paper. And the way that you do that is you have to ditch one of your goal tiles that you haven't placed on your board yet, just yep. out of the game. So I, I can't score that if I wanted to. And it has to be uh, the color of the one that you're replacing, which is right. green. So I'm going to take this one out of the game. I wasn't going to be able to complete it anyway. Sure, what it's was it? building all three oh, yeah. of these robots. I hadn't even started that's that. That's a challenge. That's, so that's just that's gonna go easy. out the game. And then in place of that, I get this uh, black <laughs> research token because it's like, nope, I cited somebody else. Yeah. And then I, we slide this over. My benefit here is to get two bump ups oh, on wow. the tracks. So I guess where am I in the? Oh, I'm in the margins everywhere. Everywhere, yeah. And I'm going to move up on both of these two tracks. Okay. So this one. So right in the margins. And that one, yeah. There perfect. you go. Thank you. And uh, doing so will get me an investment tile, which is going to be nice for my my last turn, probably. Yeah, I don't have anything like that. That's nice. And I think that's it, unfortunately. So I did all of this. Mm -hmm. I did the slide. We didn't. We already unlocked. Oh, I didn't get my points. Yeah, you had six points. Four <laughs> six for the points. award and two for the tile. Four, four plus two, yeah. And zero so, for the citation. Right. So it goes to 77. 77. And now, now I'm done. So um, this is going to run. We're going to run the weather machine yes, for right. the second to last time. And this is going to run for just Naveen. Oh, yeah. You didn't get in there. Huh? I didn't get in okay. there. No, I wasn't able to. So you go ahead and take your robot back. Sure, yeah. And can you pay two research or two uh, science I vouchers? I can. One, two. That's going to be three okay. points for you. One, two, three. And then would you like uh, two machine parts or an investment tile? Mm. I think I have to go machine parts here because I, I, I see this spot open to be able to do a double here. And okay. I think, uh, I think I'm going to do that. All right. Yeah. So uh, let's go ahead and get me a... Well, the only thing that's going to score me points here is if I take a red machine part which is silly because I'm going to get this tile, but I guess it doesn't matter. So I'll take a red machine part because I know I'm going to go there in the future. All right. So then that's that. So you also get a, um, a fog yes, research it's, token. It's very important for me because my end game is to have equal to or the most here. So that's oh, okay. Good. Very good. Yep. And then we are going to make a uh, fog a little bit more difficult, some extreme weather incoming. <laughs> and then we are going to remove this. In the okay, game, uh, we're going to also remove the robot that was used. We're actually going to remove this research token as well because the Teeves robot was in there. Mm. That's a two-player rule. That's right. That's right. That's uh, first time variant. Seeing that. Yeah. You slide over. The Teeves assistant goes to snow. Yeah. And because we placed the last experimental in the display that marks the end of the game, the end of the journey, we finish out the round, which is just phase C, which is technically income if you get it, and then uh, switching around player turn order, which we haven't done at all in the entire yeah, game. Yeah. And then we play one final round. At the end of that round, we run all of the um, the branches in the weather machine that are viable. Right. That you can run, essentially. So it, it would basically be uh, rain and uh, fog. Rain or fog. Yeah. If we can complete either. Correct. And then we'll go into final scoring. So, uh, but before that, we are going we to the last turn. go into our last, our final, final round. Devine, what are you going to do? Okay, I'm going to come over to the government. We're going to hang out here. So uh, I'm going to get a lab research. I don't think it really matters at this point in the game. I do uh, have the ability to do both of these here. Uh huh. And so uh, let's go ahead and do this one on the right. So it's going to cost me two, one, two of those vouchers. Okay. Uh, and then I think I'm going to take the intersection of these two, and I'm going to do this one. So that allows me to take this action here. Oh, okay. Um, without paying the uh, the resource. That's nice. Yeah. Do you want to take your vouchers first? 
Sure, yeah. So uh, the vouchers I get is the supply as well as the... R&D. R&D, which yeah. I maxed out. Okay, so I wanted to make sure that you, you didn't forget that. Just in case. These don't, don't, don't mean anything at the end of the game, but just a heads up. So I think there's a way for me to get to edge out one more victory point here. Oh, okay. Uh, so let's Plans. see if I can do it right. Yeah, so I'm going to I'm gonna put this... I don't think it's going to be very good, but I'm going to put this here. <laughs> okay. Uh, so I get the discount here, but I do have to pay... Um, a machine part. Um, a machine part. Wait, oh, actually, not that one. I'm going to put it here. Oh, okay. Because I want to pay this one little chemical that I'm not going to use because I need this machine part for the next part of my, my turn. Okay. So that's going to go out uh, into the void back here. <laughs> it's not quite a void. Not the void, the, <laughs> the reusable void. Yeah. Uh, and then um, because I did that, I get a one bump uh, on this track. So now I get four points at the end of the game instead of three. Nice. Yeah. And you actually have to place one of these. Oh, yeah, yeah. The supply. I still have to do that. Yeah. Right. So you, you did that doing that, right? Yes. So you should also flip over the subsidy mm -hmm. tile. Uh, subsidy tile, where are you? There you are. All right. Good call. And then because I put it here, it gets me a robot. Mm -hmm. And because I have at least eight uh, total uh, tokens here, yep. I can move one of these out. Knowing that I'm going to be taking this action, which is going to give me one bump, I might as well take this one off. Nice. So I get a, another bump. So eventually when I take this action, it'll go and get me a point. Oh, my gosh. You it's... better not... My, I oh, actually, this isn't even on my board. It's not even on your board. <laughs> but it might it be It would have been soon. something. Oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> well, I'm not going to be able to score this goal because uh, you over there. And but I, I undid you. Yeah. All right. Is that everything? Uh, that is everything for that first action, Yes, yeah, so you have to do a second one, right? Yes, yeah, second action. So I'm going to spend this. We are going to move up on the track there. Oh, you get this. I... Because you... Didn't you take this action? I did take that action. Oh, yeah, I did take that action. Yeah, so you get that research token. And the final action, uh, I'm going to place out one of these. So you have to spend the government voucher? Uh, I did. I oh, you yeah. spent it already. Uh -huh. Okay. And I'm just going to place this here. I have nice. this uh, reddish cog. Okay. And this is the first time we're seeing this. This is the very, Wait. very end of the game. <laughs> you have to take a subsidy tile. Oh, yeah, I'll take this one. All I'm... rules out the door. Okay. Sorry, yeah. <laughs> So this goes here. We get to the end I get of it. this, which it, it's the end of the game. I'm not going to be able to flip it over. And, yeah, yeah, and, and but... it's just a double bump on something. So, But yes, you are right. For it's procedure. Proof. You got you to gotta have it. You got to show the, the proof. Some of the gold tiles and stuff are, you know. Yeah. They got... Okay. Um, and then for doing that, uh, I get... I get this benefit. I yeah. get one of those. A little too late. Tile. About a turn too late. <laughs> Dang it. But now uh, one of the branches in the government... This is technically the government machine, I think, that they're making. Yeah, they're helping. So one of the branches has been completed. And so when that happens, uh, each robot gets three points. Gets three points. So I get six. Six for you. Six to seven. Three and you. three, two, three. That's that semi-co-op. And then... Only giving you three points. <laughs> the government weather token is going to get placed on the, the leftmost... Far left spot of the snow. So, so if you're just, interested in it that. It kind of helps with the extreme weather thematically. Okay, so my, for my final turn, I'm going to turn to this investment tile and I'm going to get another goal out here. Um, it's got to be either blue or green because I really need that machine part. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And I could definitely score this. Hey. Yeah. This is just two completed rows for the same weather type. So this technically is a completed row, right? Totally. Yeah. So by the way, I'm supposed to move this off, so I'm just going to go ahead and do that right there. And um, just so there's no funny business, I'm going to put this award here. And you know what? Since I'm kind of having second thoughts on the rules right now, or second guesses about whether or not this is a completed row, I think it is. But just in case it's technically not, I'm going to do the other goal. <laughs> this just wants it to be uh, equal to or, or furthest along. You know for a fact track. that we're, we're tied there. Yeah. yeah. So I'm going to place it there to get me a machine <laughs> part. Nice. And I am going to basically be doing a breakthrough here for the sun branch. So yeah. I have a white machine part, even though Naveen is sitting on that. <laughs> I'm going to take uh, pink, please. Sure. I mean, you're just going to spend it and not give me the two points, Thank right? you. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I have it. Um, yep. Okay, so that was the that was that. So then I'm gonna go and move. I'm going over here. I technically get two government vouchers, which both of which I cannot hold. And then Latif is gonna move here. I get the science voucher. So now I can only do one thing here, and I really have been trying all game long to get this darn Nobel Prize. So you're gonna this get is it. it. It's gonna cost me two. Um, R&D vouchers, that's one and two, my science voucher. And then I am going to turn in, it doesn't matter at this point, it's going to be, they're both sun. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm going to put it, put this uh, weather token on you might as well. this spot. Oh, yeah. It's going to get me a part. I'm just going to take another pink one, okay. please. And, um, and then to actually build the prototype, I have to spend a science voucher. 
because it's a level two uh, extreme weather. So yep. there's my science voucher. And now I'm going to turn in my, my machine parts. So it's technically two pink, a green, and a white. Um, I'm going to use my bot to turn in the green part. You're so gonna use your white cog I'm going to use my, my white cog. cog for that. Yes. So it's going to be two, four, six, eight. So then this is going to go to 88. Wow. And wow, wow, wow. I get my third award. And because I get my third award, I get the Nobel Prize. Oh my gosh. For the first time ever. <laughs> oh my gosh. I feel like all my life's work has come to this. Mm. Uh, anyway, that was very dramatic, <laughs> but that is that is it. That's the end of my turn, right? Yeah, I think so. And you you could technically put your award. Does it help you anywhere? Yeah, it does. Put your award here. Gets you the one bump, so you're not in the margin. Anymore. Oh, thank you. There you go. All right. But wait, but you. No, I have five. Oh, yeah, five. Okay. Yeah, I'm good. Okay. So I'm make sure you. Get that's why. That's why I, I literally split this up and didn't put it here to try to do something silly. Yeah. Because that would have been multi-step process. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah. So, oh. uh, that's it. The game is over. We're technically supposed to run the weather machine for anything that's still viable. <laughs> we kind of abandoned it. <laughs> There's nothing left. No. So we're not running that thing. We're going to go straight into end game scoring. Sure. So end game scoring for this Lacerda is really quite simple. There mm -hmm. are three parameters and they're all listed here on the right side of the board. Yeah. So first things first, we score points for where we are in the uh, various funding tracks. So let's go with Naveen first. Okay. So I get uh, three. I guess, actually, we can just go uh, track by track, right? Sure. We so both we both get, get three. three. Yeah. So one, two, three. One, two, three. Um, I here, think I get four. You get four. One, two, three, you four. Get three. One, yep. Two, three. And over here, I get was it get five? Five. One, and two, three, four. Oh, wow, you you're get four. At Ninety-nine. One, two, three, four. So it evened out because you had of, yeah. one more. One That's more. right. Yeah. yeah. Um, we now score our end game goal tiles. So we're kind of talking through this as we play the game, but uh, do you want to go first? Or do you want me to go first? Uh, sure, I can go first. Um, sure. So I have the equal to or the most amount of workshop tiles, and I did do that. I have three to your three. Yeah, and these are all five points all each, five, so we'll and we can score up. them even if we flip them. That's right. Yeah. Uh, this one is have uh, the most or equal to the most in this column. We both have five. Yeah. And this one is have equal to or the most amount of bots all together in R&D, and we both are tied. So nice. You... Kept me on my toes there, but I get a total of 15. So one, two, three, four, five, two, ninety-three. Wow, okay. Okay. Um, I think I'm also gonna score three of them. Mm. It's gonna be this one. It's for being a furthest ahead or tied over there in that funding track. It's for having the most or tied for the most number of bots in the government branches. Yeah, you got that going. This one I'm not gonna score. This is for being furthest or tied in that, that was funding the thing track. I, I purposely Naveen, did. Uh, bamboozled me there. <laughs> and then this great. one. Is most number of tokens in the in this track in this uh, column Ooh, of our office? Interesting. Is that most or tied for the most? Interesting. So I scored three of them, so it's fifteen points uh, 15. for me as well. So. All right, so you're at one fourteen. She's off the screen again. Very nice. <laughs> and lastly, last but not least, <laughs> the Nobel Prize. There's just another five points. Another five. So. Wow, Monique. This That's This is your it. highest score so far. The game is done. That was quite. That you was played quite, quite well. Oh, thank you. <laughs> it's different. The two-player game is different. We're going to talk about that yeah. during the review. But wow, I feel like uh, I'm tired. <laughs> I feel like you scored a lot of CPs, huh? I, I guess so. Climate <laughs> points. You know, it's all in the, in the name of saving the planet. No more droughts. No more extreme weather conditions. How beautiful Hurricanes. would that be, right? Yeah. And I think we've done it. I think Professor Latif would be very proud of us. I hope mutually. so. I think the government <laughs> is kind of proud. Yeah. So anyway, that's it. That's that it. is yeah. Weather Machine. Okay, so let's talk about this. We have a lot to unpack here. We're going to try to keep this as concise as possible, but, uh, you know, we are big Vitala sort of fans, so this course, is a yeah. very exciting uh, game. To I think it was on, on our top mo top 10 most anticipated games for the year, Yes, right? that's right. We didn't know. We, we knew that it was coming out. We didn't know if it was going to go to Kickstarter, which, of course, it is, yes. or if it was just going to be a retail release, so... Uh, we are glad we got to play it in 2021. Yeah, uh, almost to the end of it. Almost to the end. Um, and so, like you're mentioning, this is a Kickstarter, mm -hmm. so keep that in mind. Uh, the Kickstarter does release on November 11th, 11th which is yep. in a couple of days. Once we have a link to the Kickstarter, we'll include it down below. We typically do not review Kickstarter, so that we're making an exception for this. So please keep in mind that this is technically a prototype copy of the games with technically non-final rules. Mm -hmm. Although it seems, it plays very final. Yes. And it seems like this is the final copy of the game. But yeah, it's, I would it's not, not be upset about this being the final copy. This looks, it looks great. Yes. Yep. And so just kind of right off the bat, what are your 
initial thoughts before we we deep dive into this? Right off the bat, concise initial thoughts. Mm -hmm. Okay, very good game. I like the game a lot. There are player counts that I prefer this game at compared mm -hmm. to other player counts. Right. Uh, and of course, we'll talk about that in a little bit. How about yourself? I agree. So this game is really interesting. It's very different from his other designs, but it borrows a lot of mechanisms from his previous designs. Okay. Yeah. And so just also, so, you know, if you haven't been following along, we did a full series on all of Vitalis Lacerda's games. We mm -hmm. played through every single one of them. So if you're interested in checking that out, we'll include a link to that playlist up above. Okay. Yeah. And so we're, we are going to be um, making uh, comparisons between this game and some of his previous designs, sure. just, yeah. just so you know ahead of time. But yes, I do feel a lot of borrowed mechanisms from um, some of his other designs. If I were to compare this game to one of the other ones, I would say maybe Kanban, mm. just because of the enclosed location areas and just kind of how you're you're getting one thing. You need a part to to go there to go there, but it does not it does not play like Kanban. So to me, it's a hybrid. The most of Kanban and the Gallerist because the Gallerist yeah. has like those four action spots. In right. each action spot, you can do one of two things. Mm -hmm. Very similar here, uh, Kanban in the sense that you have. Uh, Latif going around yes. versus it's a um, nice version of Sandra. <laughs> Sandra, I always want to say Susan for some reason. Sandra, Sandra that's going around, but mm -hmm. uh, Latif kind of in a two-player game uh, is a little different than mm -hmm. in a multiplayer game. Right. So you also see some similarities from Vinos. You know, in uh, the 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 office, you have to have the same type of yep. weather, like Winding the same up. type of wine, and yep. you can the requirements that were in the <laughs> yeah. Vinos uh, player exactly. boards are yeah. similar to the ones in the office. You also see similarities to on Mars. You know, the the way that the the the, the uh, life cycle life cycle of the elements. Like you need one thing in order to build the next type yes. of of home. It's kind of like the weather cycling, as well as the supply location. You know, I feel like that's like kind of like from on Mars, where you go to the other you half go, yeah. of Mars to get all of your supplies back up to the space station right and yeah. here it's a specific supply location you can do as much as you want there which i think is really cool because the resource management in this game is really off the charts yes. like that that is what sets this apart for me yeah when you go to that um, supply location you want to like just extract as much as you can because you never want to go it back it feels bad going back there yeah. because all the juicy actions yeah. are really out there are the other three locations yeah. And then you also see some similarities to Lisboa. Like, I, I do feel a little bit of it in the government area. You know, you have kind of like in the downtown area with the mm. crisscrossing paths very loosely. Um, and then you, you, you still have yeah, right, the yeah. tracks, the use of tracks, right? Like in, in Lisboa, you had the, I, I forgot what it's called now. It's been so long. Is it Influence? Basically, uh, when you go around the yes, church, the church yeah. and then you, you get to to draw like the this, benefits the from zero that. zero to ten track, yeah. Yeah, and you, you also see some of that in the gallerist, right? In the gallerist, you have that, that fame track. Mm -hmm. But here, you have three separate tracks, and uh, they each give you different things. They still score you points at the end of the game, but you dictate when you read the benefits of those tracks. Yes, that is cool. So, yeah. super interesting. It's it's It borrows a lot of similar mechanisms, but it feels like a very new game. Mm -hmm. And that's that's gonna be that's gonna be good and bad, right? Like even though we are Lacerda fans, we're biased in that way. We are definitely um, more keen towards we're, it. We're programmed to yeah. love them, mm -hmm. but we are also a little bit more critical because we've played them all and we have rankings, and some of them are in our top, you know, games of all time. Sure, yeah. But in general, this one feels a lot more focused. You know, mm -hmm. you're only doing a few things. There are only three locations, and your main focus is really one thing. You're completing rows in your office space. You want yeah. to get the Nobel Prize, Especially right? Especially right off the bat. Like, yeah. the focus is like, okay, I need to get these tokens mm -hmm. down on this board so I can do the cooler actions. Right. Yeah. And so that means for, for players out there who are who feel very overwhelmed by the, the huge vastness of On Mars or even Lisboa, mm -hmm. this might be something that you might want to take a look at because it is a lot, it does feel a lot more focused. There's a lot more player interaction you depend on each other a lot more to do certain things yes. and uh just in general it just it just feels like a lot less to keep track of but the efficiency on this in this game is off the charts oh, through the roof yeah you can make some bad moves and, and find yourself in, in trouble yes yeah. if you felt like in previous sort of games that um the order really matters like the order of things there's a right order of things this is this has it the most this has, yeah this has it <laughs> this is the most intense um the very first time we played this this game uh all three, it was a three-player game, mm -hmm. and all three of us were constantly taking back our turns. Yes. Because we were like, okay, well, if I do that, I won't have a robot. And yeah. the robot economy is the hardest part of this game. Yes. Definitely. Having a robot at the right time, because you leave them. <laughs> they only come back They're to you stuck. if you put them in the weather machine. Yeah, we definitely, that first game, we, we would get like 80% through a turn yeah. and be like, oh, you know what? <laughs> 
yeah I, if i do that that's gonna really ruin a bunch yeah. of other stuff so do you mind if i take that back real quick yes and that was i think for this game you have to have a learning game maybe oh, one, yeah. one or two games and we were really all doing understand. it Everybody we're all taking back it. our entire turns yeah. so um let's 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 go and do our deep dive we're, we're gonna start with theme and thank you by the way to everybody who submitted questions over mm -hmm. on our instagram we're gonna try to include answers to all those questions as, as a part of our can. review yeah. so starting with theme a lot of people ask us about theme because vitalis dirty games are very known for being able to intertwine theme with a heavy uh, rule set yes. a more complex game and and he really integrates them well actually in previous mm -hmm. designs what are your thoughts on theme this is very uh, different from his other ones and it's also the most far-fetched right sure. yeah uh, <laughs> i like the idea of the theme i like the fact that we are building a weather machine to try to, to manipulate the climate and try to do good uh, but in the process of doing that, we as humans, we are faulty and we make mistakes. And so, it's actually just Professor Latif. Well, he's a human, Correction. I would imagine. Um, <laughs> we, but, are, we are fixing his prototype. Yes, yeah. but he has good intentions, yes, but he is also creating problems with his good intentions. <laughs> and so we're right. like, well, actually, that, that's a good idea. Let's see if we can just make it better. So mm -hmm. I think that's a cool uh, concept versus just, you know, um, I don't know, some, some other generic uh, kind of theme. It's something yeah. very different. Right. Um, the theme for me in this one, doesn't come through as much as some of his other games. I will say that uh, thematically, uh, what you're doing compared to some of the actions you're taking, mm -hmm. for me, it's not as, uh, I guess my brain isn't as wired yet, even though we played it several, several times. The R&D is where I'm kind of a little confused. So maybe you can fill in the blanks for me on that. Well, I honestly, I kind of agree a little bit. This is definitely the most loose theme for me uh, in terms of Lacerda's because in the past I have found, you know, I found really tight connections with, with the theme and the mechanics. And in this one, I kind of, you, you can probably sense it a little bit in the teach if you stayed around stuck around for the teach in the beginning that i had a harder time explaining why things were happening the way that they were happening the the core uh, concept of the theme and the story you know the, the big story is mm -hmm. really cool but i do find it difficult to explain the r d mm -hmm. um, like what exactly is going on in that column yeah. when we run it the main concept which yes. is in the middle uh -huh. in the lab location that makes sense because that that's sense. the actual weather machine and yes. that's the most cyclical part of the game like when you play the game it feels like a big cycle it's just a big wheel that's turning and turning and turning because of that weather machine, first of all, mm -hmm. and second of all, because there are only three locations that you're going to be cycling between. So you do feel like you're constantly yeah. going around and around. And so that thematically makes a lot of sense to me because mm -hmm. the weather machine keeps turning. In the, in the end, we're, we're not, uh, I'm not at least the biggest on theme in general. So mechanics uh, still work. Mechanics. <laughs> and as for the components, um, first of all, Ian O'Toole is brilliant. The art? Just yeah. Master, master word game illustrator. Yeah, it's got right? the steampunky kind of look. Yeah, here. yeah. It looks is... different. It looks so yeah. different from from the other games, but it's beautiful. This is ah, this might be the most beautiful board mm -hmm. in my. I don't know. That's just to me. Yes, I will say uh, I do appreciate that there is uh, symbols for anybody who has trouble seeing color. So um, there are symbols on every yes. single thing that kind of denote it. They are kind of small. But again, this is a prototype, so maybe things are subject to change. I don't, I don't know if that's going to change, but that yeah. is that is a little bit of a an important point. Everything here is color based. Uh, there are symbols everywhere. You're just going to have to look for them. Mm -hmm. So just keep that in mind. And this game, uh, as compared to the other Vitalis Rota games, if you've played them, is a lot easier to set up. Mm -hmm. And I really appreciate that yeah. about this game specifically because some of his other games take forever. <laughs> you're like setting up the game, like come, come 20 minutes later into yeah. game night and then, <laughs> then right. it'll be set up. But yeah, this, this one's, one's really quick. Pretty quick. Here's your stuff. Here's mm -hmm. your board. Uh, these things are going to go out there, shuffle some tiles and right. then there you go. And you're ready to go. Yeah. In terms of weight, that is another question that a lot of people ask. Uh, this game is hard. Mm -hmm. It's hard to play well it's hard to strategize through because of how efficient it requires you to be in managing your resources yeah totally but rule set and like uh, actual like uh, the little rules here and there and the little things that you can do that that uh, you usually see in some of his other games not not as heavy no i would not i do not think this game is nearly as heavy as on mars that's definitely as heaviest today totally i would say so um yeah. also not as heavy as maybe lisboa and kanban after that it might be it might be maybe, right in that middle tier maybe after the gallerist yeah. i don't even it's somewhere in there Somewhere in there. And that's it's all subjective, of course. All subjective, yeah. um, especially considering we play a lot of heavy games. Yeah. But uh, compared to his other ones, like I said, this one's a lot more focused, which means it's a lot of it's a lot less of the little rules that you're going to have to memorize. Mm -hmm. And the game comes with player um, handbooks, just like yeah, in the other games. A little player aid. But this is like a rule book handbook. It yes. has all of the actions and all the locations. You can literally follow it step by step from this book. Yes, I will say, like if you're familiar with Lisboa, Lisboa gives you kind of a pamphlet that's mm -hmm. very thick and it's a little daunting when you get handed that 
that that pamphlet in Lisboa the first time. Yeah. I'm like, oh no, <laughs> right? What's going on? This is very easy, very convenient, yeah. and uh, very very helpful. It's like a pocket manual. Yeah. In terms of player count and replayability, we have a lot to say about player count. So let's start with replayability. Sure. What do you think about that? Um, I think there's a decent amount of replayability. I will say, though, uh, sometimes, at least at the beginning of the game, the way the board is set up, uh, where that uh, robot assistant is in the lab, mm -hmm. it can kind of influence everybody to be like, okay, clearly that weather tile is, is going to be the next thing experimented on. Mm -hmm. I think it's time to gun for that right away. Mm. And so it's kind of like... I, I liken it to kind of like in dodgeball, uh, if you're like dodgeball in gym class, where the ball's in the dead center and everybody's rushing to the ball and uh -huh. that first person grabs it and you kind of have to like back away. <laughs> that's kind of how I feel about uh, the beginning of this game. So oh, okay. um, that's obviously going to change every single time the, the, uh, with the game. Because you mean like the opening move? The, the opening very moves, first turn yeah. of the game. So that part for me, it's it, it after we played it now a handful of times, that felt very... Uh, I don't want to say samey, but you are definitely going to be doing the same things. You want to go to the supply location, which you're going to start off with. You want to have space so you can house robots. You want to get robots out there, and you want to pick a color so that you can go and try to get involved in that first experiment mm -hmm. as best as you can. Because you want to get a leg up. You want yeah. to try to move and progress to right. all the other sweeter actions. Yeah, I agree. At the very, very start of the game, you only have four options for opening moves. Mm -hmm. And so uh, the reason for that is because two of the actions you just cannot can't take. Yeah. You can't even do. They're too advanced. And so you really just have these three locations, and some of them are going to be better than others. Totally. So in a two-player game, you're basically going to the location that the other person didn't go to. Mm -hmm. And in higher player counts, it might be a little bit more interesting. But this game, I think, out of all of the other games he's made, is probably the, the least expansive in what you can do, right? Yeah. Because in Lisboa, you have all the different decrees that, that'll change your game plan. Uh, there's a lot, actually, with Lisboa that you can do uh, in terms of pathways to go down. Yeah. Same thing with On Mars. Like These are huge games that you kind of pave your way and Kanban. In this one, you're given... The, the variability is in the goal tiles, right? Yes. At the start of the game and the machine... I guess you everybody starts with a different color machine part and like you do whatever you're going to do in the supply location yep. to set up your game. But everybody has their own set of nine goal tiles and the more you play the game you can choose to draft them you're yep. drafting entire sets of colors mm -hmm. and so that is going to help steer you in a certain direction but only to a certain extent you're still playing the same kind of like efficiency engine and it's going to it for, to me it feels the same every time yes it's a great puzzle it's mm -hmm. a it's a it's a fantastic uh, Lacerda-esque puzzle, but it doesn't have these like, you know, branching, branching pathways, pathways yeah. that some of his other games do. Yeah, like when you're in the thick of this puzzle, it's it's fantastic. It's, yeah, it's very you're fascinating in it. and you're engrossed. It's fascinating. But when you look at it after the game, you're kind of like, that was very similar to the puzzle that I just experienced uh, mm -hmm. before and the one before that. Right. And so the the more uh, replayability, I suppose, that, that'll come out of it is in the interactions with, with players. Yes. It's kind of like the drama that happens around the table yes. because in my opinion, and this game has one of the most levels of player interaction. It might be the game that has the most amount probably, of player interaction, yeah, besides maybe Escape Plan, just yeah. for the nature of that game, That's right? Yeah. But um, in this one, you really have to work together. You really have to see what other people are doing so that you can try to zag and try to go for a different weather or try to get into the weather machine when other people are there. Yep. And so because of that, and that now dips into player count, um, the replayability is going to be nicer at higher player counts, yes, and just definitely. in general, to me, the experience is nicer yes. in higher player counts other than two. Uh, in a three-player game, which we played a couple times, um, it is a, it's way more interesting, I will say, yeah, because uh, what happens in that lab location over there, uh, two people can be involved, and that third person could not be involved. And versus here in the lab location, it was kind of just I gun for it one time. You gun for it one time, and the other times, like we kind of netted equal mm -hmm. on, on some of those. The government area is also interesting because in a two-player game, you know, I, at the very end of the game, if you guys watched the playthrough, I went and put out a robot there so I could score some. But it was like I'm scoring for myself, and I'm and I'm also scoring for you. Right. In a three-player <laughs> game, I can make a decision. Well, it's like, well, Monique's in front, so maybe the two of us we can score something. Yeah. And kind of keep her out of it. Right. So um, that that part. Uh, for me, I, it's just it's just more uh, engrossing in a three-player game or higher. And plus, there's more action locations, mm -hmm. action spots. If you're going second, which is kind of what you did uh, mm -hmm. today, you can kind of see where I'm going to leave, and then you kind of have open opportunities. So I think a three-player game was a nice, nice number for us. Definitely, the three-player games were way more interesting. And the reason for that is because you want the chaos. You want these other wrenches to be thrown at you so that you can try to figure out how to kind of replan on the fly. Like... 
it's you don't want to just have this big open mm -hmm. field or else what kind of a game you know what kind mm -hmm. of what kind of a game are you playing also the r d area is so much more expensive in a yes. two-player game mm -hmm. it doesn't scale uh in that area not quite and much. Latif is also more interesting in higher player Lativ is totally. Because in a two-player game, we're almost playing chicken. Like, you don't want to go to the location where Latif is because it's most likely not going to give you that red spot that yes. lets you do both actions, mm -hmm. which is what you really want to do in this game. Um, and it moves Latif, and whenever Latif goes to location two and four, he removes a research token. Oh, and that, yeah. depending on where you are in the weather machine, that could ruin your plans yes. in a two-player game. There was, so, there was a time where I was like, I really want to go where he is, but he's going to remove the thing yeah, that, that I'm need. going there <laughs> to go do. So don't, like, I, I can't do it. Yeah. It still plays fine at two, yeah. but it's a lot more interesting at higher player counts. Yeah. And so finally, for the rest of the game, the general mechanics, mm. uh, what are your thoughts? Ooh, I like the mechanics in this one. Yeah. Uh, worker placement. Right, you go to one of spot, you choose one of two actions. Yeah, I like the economy of the vouchers. Um, that is probably my uh, probably my favorite part of the game is the voucher. Yeah, managing these because uh, going to a spot is going to get you the vouchers for the next spot, which is go, like on Mars. Which is kind of like on Mars. Yeah, I know. Is it like on Mars? It's like, I guess you're thinking about the life cycle. Like this goes to that, to that, to that. But also like the gallerists. Like if you get kicked out of the gallerists. There's a kicked out action. Yeah, sorry. Too. That's a little I, different. I yeah. You. <laughs> yeah, it's okay. No problem. Yeah. Uh, so I, I, the managing of that is is really really uh, interesting to me because sometimes you're like, okay, I really need to go to the lab, but I only have one. And if I go to the lab, I really don't want to spend my science, so maybe I'll go to another location, pick up the thing I need for when I can go back to the lab, mm -hmm. and then make that action super sweet. And so. Um, yeah, that is that is probably my favorite aspect of this, of this game. How about yourself? Yeah, I agree. That for me, that I just kind of bundle that in with just the resource management aspect of this game yeah. is wild. It's hard. It's so hard because you're managing you're managing your vouchers, you're managing um, the chemicals. chemicals. Uh, the machine parts, and then your robots, your robots. And, and they're your all... uh, workshop tiles also. And your workshop tiles, kind of. For me, that's the least difficult to manage. You know, I just kind of like lump some of them in the beginning of the sure. game and just kind of <laughs> sure. run with it. Yeah. But the the vouchers are really tough. You want to have the vouchers when you need to use them. And mm -hmm. sometimes it's really hard to foresee which ones you're going to need and how many. Because yes. if you need to spend additional ones, it's going to cost you three vouchers of any type. And that decision of which three do I spend based off of what I'm going to need in the future is really hard. What's um, very interesting about the vouchers is I, I've made this mistake several times in the game, mm -hmm. and I even I, I, I spoke about it, is sometimes you can spend other voucher parts uh, or other vouchers to take actions in a different location. Right. Knowing that if you're going to go to that the location that just re, um, refills your, your vouchers, then it's like you didn't lose anything. Uh, so that happened to me in this game a couple of times where <laughs> I went to a location. It's like, I have max science and I'm going to get <laughs> science out of it. Oh, shoot. I should have spent it in the previous action. If the order matters. Held thing. <laughs> on to the vouchers that I did spend because yeah. I was just going to get them back when I moved to the new location. Right. So uh, that part is really, really fascinating. Yeah. The voucher economy. I mean, there's no actual physical money in this game. Like no. in other games or coins and stuff, you're managing your vouchers. Uh, your machine parts, you can't get them. You cannot buy them from no. the supply location. You have find to them. find them. <laughs> yeah. And that's it's interesting because you can pretty much get any of these resources everywhere so you're trying to find you're trying to figure it out like i need to move to a new location every single turn so i need to move to a different place but i Can't need an emergency machine part how do i get that and so you spend a lot of your game thinking about these things mm -hmm. um, if you want to get machine parts from the funding tracks you can choose to do that but you can only get machine parts from one track and you get uh, chemicals from the, the other, other yep. there's no way for you to get both of them using one investment tile right so that's tough but by far the most difficult thing to manage are the robots mm. because they're expensive. You have to build them and you can only build them in the supply location. You start the game going there. There's you, some areas where you can get them as a bonus. There's some but... areas, but it's it, there. It's it's a lot harder to find those areas yes. as opposed to like machine parts and, and chemicals. Mm -hmm. So you try to build as much of them as you can in the beginning of the game and then you kind of run with it and you'll run out eventually, yep. which will require you to go back to the supply location. And that doesn't feel good. No. So you really <laughs> want to try to time your robot economy properly. Someone asked, if any parts of the game disappointed and i i wouldn't say there's anything that specifically uh dis disappointed, disappointed us but hmm. i would maybe the the uh the two-player experience isn't as sweet as some of the other two-player experiences yes in okay. the other titles sure. and of course the question that we probably got asked the most is where does it fall in your ranking mm. <laughs> And when we did our ranking video, that was like at the beginning of last year. So things may have changed. Mm -hmm. But what do you think about this game and where does it fall in your rankings now? Mm. 
So I think I, I had, I, I definitely know this. I had Lisboa at number one, and I think I had CO2 number two. Oh, I don't uh, know anymore. And, and I think that still holds true. Uh, I think On Mars is definitely the next one. Um, this this one and The Gallerist are kind of like on the same level for me. Mm. I'm thinking maybe, uh, they're just right in the middle for me. It's the middle? Uh, yeah, it's not like my absolute favorite, and it's, okay, none of them are like, bad so so like yeah yeah like, so like even the lowest the ranked scale one here is a is fantastic like, game right and they're yeah. all still like very 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 good games yeah but amongst the uh, eight games i think there are yeah. it, it's like somewhere slotted right in the dead center oh okay yeah how about yourself for me this is a really difficult one to rank and the reason why is because it's a new kid on the block you know we're comparing this game to games that that i've loved and have grown to love over the, the course of years mm -hmm. you know um and even just from that ranking video Things have changed since last year. I think I think I put uh, Lisboa as my number one, and uh, I think it might have been on Mars as yeah, my number two, and Kanban as my number three. But since then, really, my number one is tied between Lisboa and Kanban. It yeah. really just depends on my mood. She likes that one a lot. Yeah, both of those games are like two of my favorite games of all time, pretty much. And so it's going to be pretty hard for a game this new to just usurp those, yeah. right? So for me, this would probably be right now right under on mars okay. so it would so probably about like four ish for you three three slash four i can't tell i can't tell if i like this one better on mars i like how accessible this is yeah how easy it is yeah. to get into it yeah. and just you kind of just your brain just kind of just flows like this rather than on mars where it's like and then you got to take a nap afterwards <laughs> yeah anyway i believe those are all the questions the, the last question was uh mr patella sort of himself uh asked if we had fun yes. and yes we yes had, i had a lot of fun a lot of fun thank you so much mr lacerda for yes. putting out all these wonderful games that we all love well, there you have it. That is Weather Machine. It's going to be on Kickstarter on November 11th, so we will leave a link in the description as soon as we have it. And if you have any questions about the game or anything that you saw here, please feel free to leave those in the comments, and we can try to get to those as soon as possible. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Bye.